into a realm where the pulse of sports thrills and the spark of technology sizzles. Join Ronald Unk Bolware and your charismatic host, Jay, a- aka Jonathan Anderson. Together, they unpack the latest in sports and technology. This is Noonish Sports and Tech. Man, what is going down? What is going down on this beautiful Wednesday? Helping you get over that that hump, man. Let me turn this, let me turn this volume down real quick. You got to get over that hump, man. Got to get over that hump. I hope you were able to go grab yourself a a, a good glass of uh, a whiskey or whatever your beverage of choice is on a, on a weekday at a happy hour, man. I hope you can get away for a second and just enjoy this with us, man. We, this is our PED toast right here. Yeah. You know, but performance enhancing drinks. You know, in the building right now. You know, some of us got bourbon and. Uh... Some of us got a hibiscus tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to get it started and right. However you like to get it started. You so know? we don't know what that you got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't discriminate. We don't no, discriminate no, no. around here. But yeah, man, I just had to, I got my music in my ear. Want to make sure that uh, y'all can hear what I want you to hear. And we sound right and not too loud. But uh, if you didn't know, man. I'm your host, J.A., a.k.a. Jonathan Anderson, man. And this is Noonish Sports and Tech. Thank you so much for joining us today. For we truly in. appreciate you. Shout out, Daily Saxophonist and Spider Ninja. Y'all getting us cranked up off top, baby. I love it. You know what I mean? And I'm here with my co-host, my favorite unk. What's going down, unk? Ronald Bow wearing the building. What's going down today? Hey, nothing much, man. Just... uh. Just here on this uh, Wednesday afternoon, man. Uh, it is afternoon, right? Yes, it is. Noonish. You Officially. Know, ready, ready to talk about these subjects. And uh, while I'm tipping my hat to you, Jay, and all that, I just want all my hands, guys, and my people to know that uh, yeah. this is still a strong. Yeah. Because it's still 90 degrees in Texas. Yeah, it's 90. Well, I can't, now, can't if I was in another film. part of the country, yeah. I would have already switch to fail. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so I'm just letting all my hair guys know it is time to come out these strong. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, calendar wise. Yeah, calendar wise. But yeah. here in Texas. Yeah. Heat wise. It's hot, baby. Hey, we still got to keep the straws on. Hey. But within the next week or two, we're going to all transition to those fails. The, the funniest thing I heard in a long time is Texas has six seasons, right? We got spring, summer, fall, fake fall, winter. Fake winter, <laughs> spring, summer, fall, fake, fake fall. fall. Oh, okay. You know, so hey. you got to add fake winter and fake fall <laughs> because winter it'll act like it's gone and then hit you with a freeze. You know, oh yeah. And then summertime it was seventy eight degrees a couple weeks ago. We were like, ooh, it's almost fall. Late hey. September it doesn't seem right, but it's almost fall. Wow, one hundred and six, like three days later. You hey. know, whatever it was. So well, I tell people when you live in Texas, man. The best way to find out what is going on with the weather is either look out the window or step out on the back. <laughs> yeah, step you'll find out real quick. Yeah, you got you got to go hey, see, and you better check out. You better check it out before you uh, step your toe outside yeah, in something fresh. Absolutely, because if you listen to the weather man, what happened to us, J.A.? Are oh, we good? It's gonna keep doing that. Uh, because if you listen to the weather man, you'll get it wrong. Yeah, yeah, you get it wrong. Yeah, weather man, I don't know how they have jobs around here, man. Don't know how they have jobs around here. But what we're going to do, on, you know, it's a lot to talk about this week. We're going to get into these topics, man. And first and foremost, we have to uh, kick a shout out, you know, uh, RIP to the Kembe Mutombo starting off, man. Before uh, we go into all that, we got to let people know that the first lady of F1 is not going to be here. Yes, today. yes, yes, yes. It is unusual beginning for us right now. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. because it is the... Uh, the, the the fall break right now yeah. for the F1 season. So, you know, nothing to update. And F1, you know, first lady F1, Miss Christiana Yeber been going hard. Absolutely. So she's taking the day off. She will be back next week. Yeah, next week. You better believe it, you know. Yes, sir. But uh, but nah, but uh, shout out Christiana. Hope you enjoy your Wednesday. I know you're working though. You know what I'm saying? But you go hard. But uh, nah, we appreciate that. But um, but yeah, and also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, man, please go over there and hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Then you can like it and share it with it, whoever and whomever you feel free to talk about. But y'all know how we get down over here. When we get to these topics, ain't no more Mr. Nice Guy. You know what I'm saying? Me and Unk coming at whatever topic, 
there how we is. feel about Absolutely. Because yeah. these are just our opinion. Now, when I start stating the facts, I'll let you know it. Yeah. But otherwise, it's just my opinion. Just, yeah. And everybody got one. So if your opinion is different than mine, that's, that's okay. okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's quite all right. And we can we can go and kick it afterwards, you know? Yeah, absolutely. We just agree to disagree. But hey, I, if if you do disagree, I want you to talk your ish. You know, I, yeah. I do want come you to on, talk your ish. Chat, say something. Yeah, come on. If you see something, say something. If it's something you want to talk about, man, bring it up. Bring Let's it up. get we'll it. Let's talk man. about it. Let's get it. Let's get it. But uh, starting off, man, like I say, uh, first and foremost, R.I.P. to Mount Matumbo is what we call it, back in the gap. You know, yeah. Dikembe was something serious when he was on them Denver Nuggets. I mean, all the teams he played with. We, we talked, talked about, about them nicknames. nicknames. You got to earn them. Mount Matumbo. Mount Matumbo. He earned that yeah, one. Yeah, he and, earned and, and that. And you want to know why? Because when you got to that wreck and you tried to get over Mount Matumbo, he was like a mountain. mountain. You hey, got to go high. A lot of them didn't make it. The, the only way you go no, 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 no. Is you got to fly. You got to fly. Because it's hard. Because you know how many people have perished trying to climb over? Oh, absolutely. You got to fly when you make it easy. Oh, I don't and know. They had that many people that, that could fly. Yeah. So they were about two or three people over that mountain. <laughs> and they got if that. You understand my meaning. They're on them gliders now yeah. out there, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. going through there. But nah, man. Um, nah, the Kimbe was something serious when he played, yeah, you know, know starting out in Georgetown and, you know, making his way to the NBA and his story, you know, uh, how he got here and. Everything he went through, you know, um, before he came here and what he did after his career in the NBA, you know, as a philanthropist, man, like. Yeah, helping the people uh, where he's from. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. My tumble was that dude. Yeah. Man, you know, and they don't, I mean, you know, nothing you can say bad. Nothing. I, I have never heard nobody say anything bad about uh, Matumbo. And I didn't know this is another one that snuck up on me. You know, oh, like yeah. Larry Allen, like a lot of the other, you know, individuals that have passed this year, just out of nowhere, it seems. Yeah, like, man, I didn't know when Tumbo was sick. Uh, I didn't either. And, and, you know, man, this year, man, we didn't lost. Uh, hey, I'm going to say it like this. For me, from the old school, or even from the not-so-old school, like Matumbo from the semi-old school, yeah. man, we done lost some dudes, man. Yeah, we have, man. Man, and, and, you lots know, this of been dudes. Rough. This, I mean, so far, as greats in a lot of different sports, man. It's been a hard year for us fans yes, that, it are, has. You know, that are really like these guys, you know. It, yeah. It, it really has. Yeah, it and has. Matumbo, you know, and I always say, this my dude. Matumbo was a what? Matumbo was another one that was one of my dudes. Yeah, man. that's it, man. Hey, when you get to shaking that hey, finger, you know you didn't a, make it. He had a unmistakable voice. When you heard it, you could, have, you could be doing something else. When you say, oh, that's Matumbo. Talking, talking right yeah, now. Right there. Hey, I remember in like sixth grade, fifth grade. I, I went out and got me some Matumbos. He had that Adidas deal, had the little African print on the shoe. They, they, they need to bring them back because it was kind of fresh. It was big, you know, we bought bulky shoes back in the oh, gap. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But yeah, it had some Matumbos going down like that, yeah, you so know? So R.I.P., man. That, was, yeah, a, that man. was a real good human being and did a lot of good to help other people. Absolutely. And just that, and he, uh, he didn't win a championship, but he went to a championship. Man, man you left a legacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you left, left a, a legacy, legacy Matumbo, man. for sure. Man, absolutely. For sure, man. So we also had another devastating loss this week, you know. Uh, same to the, day. To the baseball community. Yeah, the exact same day. The exact same day. The exact same day. I think John Amos also passed. We'll, we'll uh, get I think he passed the next yesterday. day. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I that's think crazy. He passed. My dad might have went the same day. Yeah, I'm that's sure. that's crazy, man. I think I I, I feel like I want to say it was like Monday night. Yeah, I want to yeah, say yeah. They they went at night. Time, about it or... He went at night. Yeah, something, something like that. Same that's day uh, that's when yeah. we heard about it. But you know, uh, R.I.P. First and foremost to to Charlie Hustle, man. Shot. That's why I got the Phillies jersey on. You know, the the Reds jersey. I couldn't find it. Quite honestly, I don't know where I put it, but uh, <laughs> which is odd. But uh, yeah, man. Um. As you know, I'm a baseball player, and, and Pete Rose was that guy, you know? Uh, the, we wanted everybody, you know, the hard 90, you know, the head first slides, and just absolutely getting after it on the baseball field with all you got in your body and your soul. Yeah, man, you see that picture of Pete Rose on the uh, on, on our far right right there? Yeah. Man, wait. Man, Pete Rose would be running to second base or to home. Yeah. And... Well, I, he he probably did on on third too, but I but I'm this is just what from my memory. Yeah, man, he would he would dive about fifteen or twelve feet from the base, 
and just about three feet off the ground, just stretched out like this. Yeah. And when he got to the base, he would bring his. And if you was on that base, you was gonna have to pay the cost to hey, be the boss. Hey, Charlie Hustle. Hey, if you're on the tracks, man, get out the way. Remember, he blew the the catcher's knee out in the All Star game. That's what I'm referring to, right? Hey, man, Coming around was, home. It was, a, it was one other guy. He separated his shoulder, and that was his homeboy. I can't think of his name. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, he hey, it, it if it goes down like that. You on when the field, man. It that's goes I, down like that. Hey, that's what I miss about sports. You know. These guys laid it on the line, man. Yeah. And, yeah. and if you didn't want to play the game, get out the way. Get out the way, Move. man. Move. Get out the yeah. way because we coming through here. Absolutely. Because they don't, the brand of baseball that Pete Rose played, they don't even play it anymore. Oh, no. Nah. Plus, nah, the guys was... are not even going to, man, that name Charlie Hustle meant something. Meant something, Pete, man. Pete Rose, not only was he super talented, he was a super hustler. He, he was hard 100. 90. Man, so the term good. is a hard 90 in baseball. Hard he, 90 is 90 feet as hard as you can right now. No yeah. no lazy. All right, all right. But well, I'm listening yeah, to you though. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you no, said no, he was he, a hustler and whatever. Yeah, he, 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 was just, he was going 100 miles an hour all, at all times. Yeah. That's why he got 4,000 hits and everybody else trying to get 3,000. Yeah. You man. know? Yeah, man. So, so Pete Rose was that dude, man. I'm not even that baseball guy. Like that, but it's certain certain people that must see TV. And yeah. even even back in the day, man, when uh, uh, we you know when I was younger, it's in the sixties and early seventies. I was I was pretty young, man. They say you know games didn't come on. It wasn't no ESPN. Yeah, you know they they'll say the Cincinnati Reds were playing the Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah, and and and, and if, if the Pittsburgh was playing the Dodgers, you might not go and watch. But if Cincinnati was playing, absolutely. It was Say, man, I'm gonna go in there and watch. Hey, that's the big Cincinnati. red machine, yeah. man. Hey, Pete Rose played for 24 seasons. And you Pete know? Rose, and I'm gonna say it like this: you know, everybody oh had a role, but uh, Pete Rose was the uh, was the heartbeat or the, the engine, starter. Or whatever you want. The starter call and the engine for the for for that big red machine. Absolutely, he, man. And the, when the, everybody else got a little sluggish. Yeah. He rose still they they had to pick it back so up. So he, he he was the Michael Irvin of the of the big red machine. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Cause yeah, because once Mike was gone for the Cowboys, it was a little different. Hey man, it was a little different. That post beat a little yeah. slower, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, or didn't yeah. beat it all yeah, for a while. Yeah, yeah, them boys wasn't scared they were gonna get covered with no scissors. No, I'm yeah. <laughs> hey, when you scared you gonna get covered with some scissors, you play a little harder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, Mike wasn't playing no That's games. That's all he'll field, say but... now. That's yeah. all he said, she said. Nah. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, but, for uh, sure. Nah, but back to Pete Rose, But nah, man. yeah, Pete Rose. So, hard, man. And, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's shameful that uh, he knows he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. It's baseball, man. Yeah, the man yeah, is uh, leading yeah, in, in the hits category. I mean, Ty Cobb, he passed him. I think Ty Cobb had like 41, 61 or something like that. Uh, Pete Rose got like 42, 74 or something like that. Uh, hits, total hits in the game. Yeah. Uh, 4256. 4256. Right. What's the next person? Ty Cobb. Who is that? What do you got? Ty Cobb's like 4161. But they're only like, two over 4,000, right? Yeah. By a long way. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, by I, I a long about way. It. After you get past Ty Cobb, you go back about 36 or 35. Man, don't you? Hey, I mean, you go 3,000 is the milestone everybody's yeah, trying but, to hit. But even, even once you go back behind Ty Cobb, I think the third place guy is 4, 500. Back. Yeah, behind. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, he is, he is, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, Pete Rose. So Pete just, Rose just a, dude, a few of his records, man. Most games played, right? Thirty five hundred and sixty two games played. Most played appearances, of course. He played the most games. Uh, Fifteen thousand eight hundred and ninety played appearances. Uh, NL hit streak forty four games and most hits twenty five of uh, uh, forty two fifty six. Man, like that is just whoo four thousand two hundred and fifty six hits. That's a lot of hits, man. I played baseball my whole life, and I got a lot of hits. Oh, and I don't think I got that many hits my so, whole yeah, life. Yeah, going back to Pee Wee. <laughs> going no. all the way back to no, eight years man. old. Not just hey, you. Hey, you can, you can include wiffle ball. You can include <laughs> Not everything just. I'm doing off the field. <laughs> you got a whole lot of major leaguers in the same way. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. That, that number is so outrageous. And it you, sounds you, almost cartoonish. You got to play. You got to hit for 20 plus years. And ain't nobody doing that because major leagues ain't paying nobody that money these days. Yeah. Not no, if By the time you hit 30, they already looking to, and, to replace you. And you know, Pete, and you know why Pete Rose did it? 
for the love of the game. Man. Passionate. Man, I'm going to tell you how Pete Rose was, man. I shout saw- out Dallas Cash. Shout out old Texan Tech, man. What's good? I appreciate you tuning in, man. Shout out Mafia Gorilla. Appreciate you all tuning in. Hey, man. I seen Pete Rose on Vlad TV about at least within the last three, four years. Yeah. Say, man, if Vlad said something kind of got to irritate Pete Rose. I well, believe Pete Rowe finna come so glad in. Hey, Vlad did too. Hey. Vlad, I'm Mr. Rowe. That, he went to Mr. Rowe. Hey, that, that, that Mr. I so, mean, that, that hey. Charlie Hustle, man, them dudes was passionate and they were serious about their game and what they did. But he said something to Pete Rowe, man, I'm telling you. Whether it's Mike Tyson or Pete Rose or Kobe <laughs> or, or Irvin, <laughs> yeah. hey, once you cross you that apex, put across from you, yeah. hey, you... That's like a loose pit bull. You don't know what's gonna go on, but you you understand the temperature that changed in this room right now. Oh, absolutely. You man, know what I'm saying? Hey, Pete Rose been man, like check that. Check yourself whole life. before you wreck yourself. Yeah. And that's why I love Pete. <laughs> Cause Pete is serious. And uh and to be a great athlete, not all the time, but some of these guys look close to the edge, man. I'm gonna say it like oh, that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. no <laughs> doubt. And Pete was that guy. He's close to the edge on the field. He's close to the edge. And, and I'm gonna say this about the people that got anything. Bad to say about Pete Rose. When they go back and do the research, Pete Rose, the only person he bet on was Pete Rose. He only bet on himself. He never bet. He always to bet win. on himself to win, never to lose. And guess to what? To win. He was winning bets left and right because he was always winning. winning. He was always winning. So that's, that's a bit confusing, too. And that's a part of the story a lot of people don't talk about. Is how Pete Rose, yeah, he did bet on himself, and yeah, he did. Or he bet, bet on his team, but it, but it was. But always, he bet on himself he, he to bet win. On his team to win every single time. He, he bet. never bet against his team to compromise the game. He bet on his team to, to win, win the game, and, and that, I think that's what you step on the field for to win to win the, the game. game. That changes that story a little bit to me. That changes all together in the world. Man, I mean, and then plus not only that, man. If they gonna go on the hall of ethics, take a half. Take a who I like to say is something ugly. Hey, take take half of them sobs out. Hey, because they because they unethical. Absolutely, they unethical. Absolutely, so, that's just a fact. It yeah, is so, what it is. So 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 get off feet road, man. Get mm-hmm. off feet road. Yeah, man. He definitely deserves to be in there along with how to how to the the major league leader in home runs and the major league leader in hits. How they both not in the hall of fame. Sound like some haters to me. Sound like they don't like them. Hey, like that, sound man. like some haters to me. You know, boy. Hey, that doesn't make sense at all. But anyway, we are gonna keep this train rolling. Going in a different order this week. He got his fist like this. Oh yeah. Da 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 Let's go. No, 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 yeah, y'all need to play. We so, need that one. Yeah, y'all need to show y'all can beat Louisville. I was scared the whole game. <laughs> I, I know you were. Hey, we was a turn over away from everything geez, switching. But it was a time when Notre Dame played Louisville. It wasn't no problem. Yeah, but Louisville came up and they're really good now. And no, they, Notre and, Dame and they, went down. So. That too. That too. That too. And they, they gave us a business last year. And then after losing to Northern Illinois this year, I was like, there is not a chance. You know, I think what we're gonna be Louisville. Jerry Bridgewater was there to get y'all to be. Oh my gosh, man! Yeah. yeah. So Louisville has been kind of nemesis over there. Yeah, they've the been they've been, yeah. they been getting with us. Yeah, they've been getting with us. You know, past couple years. Yeah. But um, we got that win, man. Thirty-one twenty-four. Uh, our Duke quarterback uh, is seemingly playing better. Uh, I feel they're playing and running a better offense for him. Oh yeah, right. A lot of a lot of run plays, read option plays, and you know, uh, and yeah. love number four. That's my favorite running back right there. Number four, yeah. big one. No, no, love. Oh, oh, talking about now. Yeah, now. Oh, well, I don't even know Rick Wilder's number. Uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Oh, okay. I got yeah. you. And you know, a couple of weeks you asked me said was uh was Joe Thais with a, a body like Doug Flute, and I said no, and no. Uh, no. Nothing like Joe. Nothing. Nothing like Doug Flutie. Way better. Yeah. Way better. Too many. Really? I mean, no. Doug was all right. Yeah, I know he was all right. 
Yeah. Joe Cobb was good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the difference you know, is what you're you know, saying. I didn't want to. Because I was like, eh. See, because this is the thing Doug Flutie did all that in the Canadian League. Yeah. Not, but, and, and they can play over there. Yeah. But it ain't, but the, the Joe Thomas did all a lot of stuff in the NFL. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Yeah. He was, uh, Joe Thomas probably, you know, in my opinion, probably the second best quarterback come from Notre Dame. Yeah, second behind Joe Montagna? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. Rick Meyer. <laughs> man, stop that. Stop that. Nah, we had, like I said, that young buck that played against Alabama his freshman year yeah. got blown out. I can't think of his name. Yeah, I mean, um, but that's just my opinion. That ain't no, yeah. Even oh, yeah. Like yeah, but I mean, yeah, quarterback is not our, you know, that hasn't been our, we've had some decent quarterbacks over the years, but no, Brady Quinn was fairly boy, decent when he was there. out of high school with all the. Yeah, he was supposed to be that dude, man. That dude. And he was for a little yeah. minute. And then Charlie yeah. Weiss went up there. He yeah. left New England to go coach. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, it just didn't didn't really yeah pan out the way everybody wanted it to. But it did. Yeah, yeah. But it's all good. Yeah. I mean, Brady it's Quinn had a you know yeah. decent. I yeah, mean, he played some games in the NFL. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, that's and, that's, uh, that's cool. Talking about other people in the uh, NCAA, who we got next? Yeah. We got the Colorado oh, yeah. Buffalo. And, uh, nah, next, you know, uh-huh. Colorado, we got to talk about them last, man. Uh-huh. We got to say the best for last. And <laughs> I don't know if you saw the Alabama and Georgia game. I saw a little bit of it. Oh, it was a very good game. Um, I mean, uh, Alabama came out on fire. Looked like, you know, a lot of people turned the game off because it was a blowout at one point. Yeah. And uh, when I turned on the game, it was, you know, Alabama was up big. But Alabama and- won, right? Yeah, 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 but I but mean, Georgia, Georgia came, came back, back to, tied the game. Yeah, tied the game. Yeah, yeah Alabama, yeah. the next play, my gosh, and, and that quarterback, Milton, for Alabama? Yeah. Oh, that boy there. Yeah. yeah. He can ball, huh? He can play. He, You, you can tell he grew from last year. You oh, know, yeah, you're and, I mean, you should. Absolutely. But if you're going to get better, you're going to have to. The same way the game looking easy to Jaden Daniels right now. Mm-hmm. It's looking real easy to that million kid out there in Alabama. Okay. So I'm talking, as soon as they got the ball back, uh, threw that ball out to that 17 year old Williams. And this kid makes a beautiful play, catches the ball, uns uh, two dudes around him, catches the ball, and then just like stops and like does like a pirouette spin, slow motion, uh, out to the left. The sideline's right here. He, spin, he spins this way and gets out there and just takes off. <laughs> it was a beautiful play. That was a fun game to watch, man. And then, uh, I mean, once Alabama did that, took that lead again, it was a wrap. I think they got an interception, you know, on the next possession or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, it it was a wrap, man. That was a fun game to watch, man. But, uh, yeah, you know, all you uh, Roll Tide cats, uh, Slate was going down, big bro. Uh, I don't care about that win, man. Notre Dame, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, I want to say it like this. And while we in the SEC, man, stay on that Jay McCoy watch, man, Tennessee. Yeah. Jay McCoy. Yeah. Number three out there at Tennessee, cornerback, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I'm going to say it like this. Uh, uh, when they play uh, Alabama, yeah, I want them uh, you know, the quarterback and do uh, do all that on Jay McCoy. Yeah. Jay McCoy, he's looking like, i seen him play for two weeks. He's looking like he's trying to be all SEC. Man. He, he's looking good. Out I, there. Love I love it. I love it. So we're on the Jay McCoy watch. He watching out for the young bug, man. Yeah. Shout out Jay McCoy on the Noonan Show. Yeah, hey. We yeah, call man. we call him nephew. Cause yeah, I walk with his auntie. Yeah, yeah, that's what's <laughs> and up. And she love her nephew, so we just call him nephew. Hey, if, on, if, the, on the walking track. That's what I'm talking about, man. You know you're living right when your auntie love you, man. Oh yeah, absolutely. yeah, man. So uh, and really love you, you know. Uh, also, probably one of the wildest finishes and, and things just swinging like crazy. That OU game, OU versus Auburn. Auburn mm. had control of the, the game. game all day until they didn't. Oh yeah. Into that pickoff. Absolutely. And to the to the house. To the house, y'all. You know, like that was a that was a crazy game. So shout out Owen you so uh OU Sooners. Uh 27-21 win this weekend. Uh also Arch Manning went out, beat Mississippi State. SMU dominated Florida State. Man, SMU looking good. All I want to say is I put money on that game. I'm I'm, I'm mad. I would have won my parlay because I bet on Notre Dame. SMU and Colorado to win. That should have been a good win. But I threw Houston in, Dan Greedy. Because I knew they played OU pretty good earlier in the season and they got 20, 20 to 0 yeah. against Iowa State. But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's my problem. It's not y'all's. Uh, I didn't put that much down on it. It's all good. Um, 
But uh, also, uh, yeah, Florida State, man, just can't get offense rocking. They can't get it going for nothing right now. DJ Ugly, you earned that nickname, and it stands true, bro. You are not supposed to <laughs> be 0-4 in Florida State right now after they just had an undefeated season. Not 0-4. Come on, man. Hey, the problem is you, bro. And it look like they just going to let you have it. Hey, and so that means the problem goes what? Back to man. Mike Norvell. Absolutely, yeah, man. You got to take some credit off. The, yeah, you know, I mean, because Norvell, you know, Mike. <laughs> A better got evaluator, you know, it's a lot of things could have been done better. And then, you know, you, you I, don't, I don't know, maybe your recruiting could have been done a little bit. Better. Well, I mean, he just, yeah, yeah I mean, something, some, some, because somebody this, failed you. you yeah, know, because somebody, this is a, this one of his recruiters or somebody pumped him up to be something. This is a guy's third school. Get him right? right or something. This is his third school. Yes. Okay. Clemson, a, Oregon State, and Oregon State. And Oregon State and Clemson don't miss you. So those are not, those are championship schools, and none of them have championships. Well, maybe not Oregon so much, but yeah, but yeah, man. But then also, in the most, the dopest game of the weekend, <laughs> Colorado, them CU boys. Shout out Ray, what's going down? That's my bro out there, man. Oh, very pretty, Tony. Pretty <laughs> Tony, what's going down? What's going down? <laughs> Shout out Deion Sanders, all them haters out there hating on you, telling you that uh, you don't know what you're doing out there. You're going to get last place in the Big 12. You know, predicting you to get organed by Central Florida is what some of the people said out there. You know how Oregon did them last year? Mm -hmm. That was yeah, Deion couldn't do nothing with that team. Well, Central Florida is not Oregon, first off. No, they're not. So but they Central were Florida. Then they have some good squads. Yeah, they have. But Central Florida. Not, not Oregon. Oregon. They're not Oregon. But also, they was 3-0 and coming into the game, though. No, absolutely. You know? and yeah. uh, I seen them play earlier this year. Yeah. And I thought that they had a chance of beating Colorado. Colorado yeah. Yeah, because they, they looked good earlier in the they year. They got some ballers. Yeah, absolutely. Their quarterback is huge. Thinks he's Cam Newton. Get your own persona. You know what I'm saying? Cam Newton too young to be mimicking him, though. That's all I'm saying. Not hating. I'm just saying. But, uh. No, you can mimic somebody. But. All that right now already? I mean, well, you ain't did enough. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, do more, do more. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Do, do more, more bro. Do more. But nah, Colorado played a very good game. Like, I'll, you know, Shador came out, had an early interception, I believe on the first drive, one of the early drives, and then came you know, right after that, uh, touchdown. Came and drove them boys down the field. First off, Colorado is getting – some control of the line of scrimmage. Yes, they are. I mean, it, I'm not it, it saying they dominate. Huge difference. Yeah, but they getting a little control of it. Once you do that, that changed the whole game for you. Absolutely. And they looking like they can play now. Man, now that they can have some line money. Yeah, you know, and that's the that's the difference. I mean, you know, uh, you know, people talk about Dion, Dion, and like I told you, sometimes Dion, some of the stuff he he say and do come off a little brass and rub some people the wrong way. And I understand both sides because sometimes he rubs me the wrong way. But but then but that don't mean that I don't pull for him or I think that he don't he's not gonna get it done. Yeah. And before the season started, it looked like he's gonna be ahead of his face, but I say he's gonna get six or seven wins. Yeah, and, and, and Dion, I said that right. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's I what you said, said six or seven. I, I think they're like gonna get seven or eight. I think they're gonna be more like than that. Seven, eight. We're gonna see what goes down next week when they play K State, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. And that's gonna be a huge game for him, and I'm very excited about it. Oh my gosh! Well, see, K State has uh has some uh when they had what's name Snyder. Mm hmm. Yeah, oh, Bill they, Snyder. Yeah, they have some great, some great team. Yeah, L. Especially, Robinson, he's a head coach down there in Houston right yeah, now at a high school. For uh, especially for uh Kansas State, so you know Kansas State has has been known to be the giant killers and all that before. Yeah, they are they are not just no powerhouse, but yeah. But Shout out Coach Freddie Snyder, J. What's going I down? think they got a couple of uh, big, uh, big, big ten champions. I mean, uh, uh, talking about Big Ten, uh, Big Twelve. Yeah, Big Twelve. Yeah, yeah. They got a couple of big. 12 they do. They do. Up under um, Bill Snyder, but Bill Snyder. I mean, he built a good legacy, and winning is a habit. Once your school start winning, 
I'll, I'll start playing good. It's easy for them to keep it up. Absolutely. You know, so. Absolutely, man. But no, so it's going to be a big game for It's going to be a great game, man. But, you know, Shadur Sanders went off again, 28 for 35, 290 yards. Man, y'all know this stuff. Y'all been hearing it already before y'all came to this show on Wednesday. But the kid's balling right now. After that one interception, man, he came back through for three touchdowns. Travis Hunter, man, continues to just make plays. The kid went out there doing what he does again at the receiver position. And uh, what he had uh, nine catches for 89 yards and, and a touchdown. Uh, Will Shepard from Vanderbilt showed up with four catches, 99 yards, and a touchdown. Beautiful catch in the end zone. For, did yeah, you see that? Yeah. Oh, my oh, absolutely. gosh. Absolutely. That dive and grab uh, with a defender right here. Could have, if the defender came back and tried to go up and high, high point the ball, that might not have been a situation. But yeah. I think the timing of the throw. Like, Shadur yeah. threw it while they were in stride, like, yeah, in route, it. you know? So, wasn't really any time for any adjustments other than Will diving for that thing. Oh, yeah. And he made the play. Made up for what took place last week, but... And, you know, and, and, and you know, and this is the whole thing. When I say stuff, people are always take it as, as criticism. Right now, Shadur is doing great, but... <laughs> He's going to have to really learn how to play quarterback in the NFL. Oh, absolutely. Right now, I mean, because some of the things that he's doing now, he can't get away with in the NFL. Oh, no doubt. I mean, no doubt. So, I mean, you know, so he, I mean, and, well, and just because you don't have to do something, that don't mean you can't. Yeah. You yeah. know, and I think that the way he's, you know, the way he throw the ball and his accuracy and his athleticism, all he got to do is just, you know, pick up a couple of nuances like, Learn how to throw, you know, in the NFL, he's not going to be able to hold on to the ball. Yeah, getting the ball out a little yeah. sooner. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just, but he does, like, he extends plays very well and he makes yeah, good decisions, yeah, right? Yeah. So I, I do appreciate that. And only, I'm saying this because that kid, Jaden Daniels, is plays a lot like Shadour. Or Shadour yeah. plays a lot like him. Yeah, yeah. But, you uh, know? You know, but <laughs> see, this is the thing. Don't, don't get, <laughs> not trying to be funny. Yeah, nothing, but don't don't start thinking you Lamar Jackson. Oh no, you know what I'm saying? no, 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 no. He's the only one who play quarterback like that. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah no. It's it's, like, a, it's a it's a significant you know, difference between yeah, them two. Yeah, you know, and but, don't even start thinking you Josh Allen. Yeah, you got to get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, got, I'm just saying, gotta you get got rid a couple of guys that can get away with that. Not many. Yeah, for not sure, many. for sure, yeah, for sure. And many. then uh, the kid we talked about last week uh, brought up Nakai Hill Green had another excellent game. Uh, nine tackles, six solo tackles, a sack, two tackles for loss, and a pass deflection, man. That kid is real deal Holyfield. That's why we highlighted him. And shout out Colorado Buffs. I'll be out there next week at that K-State game, baby. It's going down. It's going down. And I am going to be uh, – I will be live streaming from out there too. You know, I'll be streaming. Just having a good time, man. Showing y'all what's going down while we out there in Colorado. But, uh, yeah. You Deuce? Nah, Deuce ain't riding with me because he got practice. Oh, okay. You flying or you driving? Oh, I'm flying. Oh, well, you said riding with me. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Not, uh, not, not this time. Oh, okay, not this time. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Last year when he was on JV, he could do it because he didn't have to play Friday night. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? So he's going to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, it's all, he'll have his time. But, um, and yeah, he's. he's you just said something. I'm going to walk out with you. Where we going? I'm no. going. I'm saying you already got your plane ticket on. No, I, I, I planned it. I'm getting it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I ain't got it yet, man. I, I do everything later because I I got strategies. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you can go, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll talk about that. Yeah, all we'll right. talk about it. We'll talk about, about it. Yeah, yeah printing them tickets at the airport and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah my niece. Shout out Caitlin Littlejohn, man. That's my niece. She out there right now at uh at, at, at Colorado. Yes, yes, she is. Yeah, she is. Yeah, at CU. Like. So we're gonna kick yeah. it too, man. It's gonna be a good time, man. Looking forward to it. But yeah, it was a great game, man. That intercession by Travis Hunter, ridiculous, man. Dion had just went and talked to him on the sideline and said, hey, I need you to lock in and focus right now. They're going to try to attack you because they think you're tired. And that's exactly what they did. And he came back, jumped that route, diving pickoff. Travis Hunter is cold blood. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you hear Dion talking about him in the pros? And, like, if a team gets him and don't let him play both ways, you're going to look like a fool. So, let, let, let's say you're struggling on offense and your best receiver sitting there on the bench because you got him playing cornerback. Or vice versa, your cornerback out there getting cut, toasted and your best cornerback on the bench because you got him at receiver. Like, that don't make sense. You're going to have to make a decision. And Deion said there was plenty of games he played in the league, 120 plays or more. He did that a lot with the Cowboys. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so. so now, it can be done. Absolutely. I, I, I don't think he's going to start both ways in the NFL. 
But, but you have to have he a can bag. though. It's a thing though. Like the ability that it has on both sides of the ball is irregular. It's not normal. He ain't just an average receiver. You know what I'm saying? No, no. He ain't no. just an average cornerback. No. no. <laughs> so it's a good chance he's going to probably be the best at both of those positions at whatever team he goes to. So that's that's a, that's going to be a very fun situation to watch develop, man. But I hope. Yeah, yeah but I'm just saying that for him to go out in the NFL and, and do that every single week yeah. is going to be taxing, very taxing on his body. Oh, Peter Peter Starkey. Shout out, Peter Starkey. What up, Trip? What's going down, going? man? Yeah, JMFC, Rocco. Yeah, man, appreciate y'all tuning in. But uh, but yeah, he, he said, you think Jalen Milrow is better than Shadour? Hey, I hey, that's a that's a great argument right there. That's a great argument right there. From what I saw, you know, uh, this past weekend from Jalen Milrow and how easily it he handled that Georgia. Like. But the, it, all depends on what you like. it didn't matter. Like throwing out the pocket, he was on point. Running the ball, yeah. I, like he yeah. was throwing accurate passes. Getting him out on time, extending the play when he needed to, accurate pass. Like the kid looked really good, oh, yeah. and he, you know, I tell you what, he and he stacked up better than Shador is. Yeah, you know, he got he got more of an NFL bottle now, uh, body than Shador does. But Shador has got a, a a pretty big base. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And that's yeah. really what matters. And you want to be loose up here as a quarterback, <laughs> you know, because impingements and things like and that are very have, possible when you start getting ball teammates team. that should do. Probably I don't know. Probably I don't, I don't I don't know at this point, huh? That's that's what I keep saying about Colorado. It's an unknown because we got What's a that? lot of kids through the transfer portal that were really good in other places. You know, I'm saying I'm, now I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you one thing that, that that they're they better than Colorado. It's in the trenches. They're better than Colorado. I don't no I don't know no, right yeah, now huh? because Colorado still, still can't run the ball. ball. They run it halfway decent. Uh, but they ran running. that's two games in a row. They've run for over 100 yards. They ran the ball very well in this past game. Uh, okay. They ran, let me see. They ran for, I mean, they they did. They did. Let me see. Rushing yards. They ran for 128 yards total. 29 yeah. attempts. So 4.4 uh, uh, a carry and two yeah. touchdowns. Yeah, Long of 21. All I'm saying is that just from my perspective, yeah. I think that his his offensive and defensive line is better than should do it. His skill position players maybe 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 not so much. Yeah, yeah, and, for and, sure. And, and, yeah, and I think that that yeah that them trenches yeah. matter. Them yeah, trenches, trenches where it's trenches at. Trenches matter way more. You know, all them wide receivers and stuff get all the flying down, yeah. flash and dash and get all the glamour and glory. But if you don't win and win in them trenches, you ain't gonna win the game. Absolutely, you and know, I, that's a, that's all I'm saying. His lines may be better. On both, both sides, sides of the ball, maybe. So, let me ask you up. this. Early in the season, because they play in Nebraska, what, the second game of the season? Yeah. All right, so early in the season, who has the advantage, the O-line or the D-line? And I'll give you my opinion after after you give yours. Well, it, it all depends. Especially when it's a brand-new O-line. Like, these probably, five guys probably, have just come probably together. Probably the defensive line got the, got the advantage. Yes. Because they just going on the athleticism all that. You got to learn how to block together and all that. And communicate and everything, yeah, right? Absolutely. So yeah. I think Nebraska caught Colorado at a bad time. Now Nebraska got them, them two boys on that D-line and Nebraska came with. Them some big boys. Them boys ain't miss no meals. None. No weight room sessions. They ain't missing leg oh, day. Yeah. Oh, I'm not like, saying that. Like them boys, yeah. them some big boys now. And, and at that time, Colorado couldn't handle what they were coming with. The stunts and the everything that Nebraska was doing. They couldn't handle it. Now, the, the, the O-line has – and that game was great for them, I think, because those are – we can learn from this oh, film. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. we, oh, we yeah. see what holes we have as a, as, a, as, a, as a team, as a coaching unit. We see what guys we feel need to be where on the line, like moving guys mm -hmm. around. And then those guys, we see what we need to correct and work on, your weaknesses. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, but what I'm talking about, you know, when you talk about Colorado right now, you you got to raise your because my expectation was seven wins. Now you look like you're a nine to ten win team. Yeah, you got to raise your expectation. Now I can't judge you against uh, uh, Central Florida. Yeah, I got to judge you against uh, the SEC now. Yeah, and, and if they was in that SEC, it might be a little different. Cause that, cause that, cause that, and then it might not. It might, yeah, that. and then it might not. We don't yeah. know. We yeah. don't know, but that's yeah. why they play the game. Absolutely, but that's why but they, they play the game. That Jordan Seen kid on that left tackle is a dog. Oh yeah, that that youngster. 
Oh yeah, yeah. he's becoming and, a leader. Yeah, he's been learning how to block in college, and yeah, he's, he's came a long way. Yeah, yeah. But, and they uh, and they were missing one of their starting no linemen, and still ran the ball that well. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were missing Benson, their, their uh, right guard, in this past game. And uh, the the other kid, he came out early, had a penalty or two against him. Evidently, he started doing his job. Yeah, because yeah. them boys were toting that rock. But man, shout out Colorado, man. Proud oh, yeah. of you, man. You know, I got I got Me ties too. to, to Colorado and saying, Florida State, man. That, 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 you know, when you start judging them against the the UTs and the Chargers, it might and be a different story and stuff. I mean, I'm just I don't know. Yeah, I don't I either. Don't, I don't know. I don't either. I, I mean, so because that's a that's a different caliber. Yeah, that's a different caliber. Yeah, but 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 as long as you're handling the people in front of you, it ain't nothing nobody can say because that's all you can do. Yep, that's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact, man. So we're gonna keep this thing moving, man. On to the, the next one. NFL. Oh my goodness. Them Dallas Cowboys versus Giants. Y'all see who's on the on the uh, bottom third right now. CD Lamb and Brandon Aubrey. <laughs> <laughs> and the only pro bowlers we got on the squad right now. You know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, hey, no, hey. hey. That's all. I'm the only uh, pro bowlers you got on the squad. That's all the pro bowlers you got on the squad. And I'm gonna say it like this: This may be good. And I punter, I punter, Ang, yeah. uh, Ang, uh, anger, Brian yeah, anger. This uh, whatever his name you is. You know, uh, <laughs> losing uh, Michael Parson and uh, D. Law as much as much smack as Unk talk about them two. No, it may be a <laughs> blessing in disguise. Oh, you think so? Yeah, it might be because this is the whole thing. Ooh, I ain't you, heard this now. No, you the. You you building your defense around Michael Parsons and he ain't doing squat. So now you ain't got nobody to build around. You got to be more uh, basic and, and depend on everybody. Yeah. You, you you know so when you get your star gone, you got to be more basic and everybody got to raise their level. But D Law out of there too. That's how long well, D Law was doing. Stop. D Law wasn't doing nothing either. D Law <laughs> D Law wasn't doing nothing either. But I'm just saying that. Now that now that we don't have to concentrate about these are two best players, everybody got to come with the load. I'm yeah. just saying it could be a blessing in the sky. Yeah, then it could be a, be a curse. Why that we see coming? Because if these two guys don't come in and play halfway decent, this season is uh like I'm talking about 11, 13. I said we were down to ten, 11. Now we're down to eight or seven, eight win. How you feeling about our two hundred sixty million dollar quarterback that put up twenty points against the Giants? The same way I feel about it before he got 260 million. <laughs> I wouldn't have got, I keep, got saying, that money. I keep saying I wouldn't have got And I feel the same way about our hundred thirty million dollar wide receiver. He feel the same way about him. I wouldn't have gave him. I wanna ask Jerry. But Jones. I wouldn't have gave him. I wouldn't have gave I keep telling you that. You think I like that? All I'm just telling you is I keep telling you the numbers. And the numbers say this, and that's what Jerry's fan for. The numbers. Jerry, what were you thinking about, man? Like, what what did Cause the I, agent I, tell you to make you? Does does Dak have some compromising information on you, Jerry? You know what I'm saying? I feel like he got blackmail for this deal right here. Something happened right here. Because ain't no way Jerry gave this man $140 million, oh, I'm sorry, $160 million the first time. And two hundred and forty, four hundred million dollars, man, for Dak. For what? I don't understand. Are you happy about this two hundred? How many yards you had the other night? Uh, two, two, two hundred forty water. Oh my water. gosh! Yeah, man, Dak. But, but the Cowboys' strategy is, I don't understand it at all. Yeah, it don't make sense to me. I, I mean, because this is the whole thing. Going into the fourth Trip quarter, say the crop baby, C, uh, crop baby CD is the problem. But what you saying? Oh yeah, you want, that's that part of the problem. You're absolutely right. That's that part of the problem. See, that's CD the only one doing anything impactful on the offense, though. If CD didn't break tackles and score those long touchdowns, those would just be more five yard passes. Yeah, and that would yeah, and all that happened. In, <laughs> like you said, all that happened in garbage time. CD yeah. leading the, the same way back here don't mean squat. Man, but, come on now. I, I mean, all I'm saying is that this. This is what Jerry Jones is paying for. He's paying for all the numbers. You go back over this year. Dak is a Dak, Patrick Mahomes, and uh, your boy down in uh, Atlanta. Got yeah. the 100 rating. Dak ain't never been in trouble. He's always on TV. Sleep member. When you see Dak Prescott, you see the Cowboys. No, no, I'm just saying on this. Listen to me. On this 
when uh, all of the commercials that's Dak on, yeah. when you see Dak Prescott, what do you think of? That's the Dallas Cowboy quarterback. That's relevance to the Dallas Cowboy. And that's what Jerry Jones is paying for. All of that is helping keeping him relevant and help get him to, to the man. $10 billion. Because he ain't paying for no playoff wins because yeah. they don't have any. Yeah. So what else could he be paying for but got besides two wins relevance? In eight years. Like, what yeah. are we doing, man? That's like, he's, he's paying for relevance, and you keep your nose clean, you stay on TV, and, and, the, and, and the Cowboys going to stay relevant, and next year we'll be worth $11 billion still t- and if he didn't win his nose, keep his nose clean like them Cowboys I mean, in the 90s, they might have some wins. Exactly, because you got to have – you got to have some – say, man, I don't care what nobody says in sports. You got to have some dudes close to the edge, man. Yeah, you man. Do. You, you, you got to. Do. You can't, can't have yeah. a bunch of safe you boys on the field. You can't have a bunch of quiet boys, Not man. in football. No, it, it, it ain't, no ain't going to work out for I you. Mean, no sport. No yeah, sport. Yeah, I agree with you dudes. completely on that. Yeah, you got to have some dudes close to the edge. I'm man. trying to look at his stats from this last game, man. I mean, it was – it was a. It, it was I mean, pedestrian. When, that's that's the word that I know, love when, when you, you use look it. at it. Uh, he was he was twenty four or thirty one or uh, twenty seven or thirty five or Off something. top of the head, huh? Yeah, he was some twenty something or thirty something for two hundred and some yards with with no interceptions. It looked good, yeah. on paper. Yeah, uh, that's that's how it that's always is. You, just, just on paper, saying? yeah, yeah. This this showing me uh some yearly stats. No. I don't care about that. I just want to see the no, stats from the uh, game. Uh, no, that 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 stats were they. You know, when you look at it, he was he's clean, he completed a high percentage of his passes yeah. with no interceptions. Only got sacked once. I I can't call the stats off the top of my head. But it's something I, like I that. Thought, I thought you was going in. I like no, that. No, no, it's, 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 it's something like. I'm looking bad over here now. No, it's something like 20 something of uh, 30 something. Uh, uh, let me, let let me, me look it up. It. I, don't, I can't believe no, it. Wasn't finna, just, no, I'm going to find it right now. Let me find it. Yeah, I got ESPN up, man. Why y'all making it so hard for me to see last game stats? Man, they do all kinds of stuff to cover up that, including. Uh, just, let me go to the Cowboys. It don't make here. sense. The Giants. Here we go. Stats. Season leaders. Show me the game leaders. Uh, Dak was 22 oh, of 27 for 221 yards and two touchdowns. Yeah, man. That, uh, 20, 22 of 27, that looked like some good stats. That's a that's a, that's a Dak game right there. And how many touchdowns? Two. No yeah. interception. Yeah, that's a Dak game against the Giants, though. I mean, you know, but, normally, now last year, that would have been 300 and something yards mm-hmm, against the Giants mm-hmm, on 22 or 27. Mm-hmm. But then you look at their blowout. Run. I think we was beating them like 40 to 10 or something last year. Yeah, but then. That means you, everybody's catching up. Yeah, but then when you look at the Cowboys' runs, Rico Dowdle, 11, uh, uh, Zeke, 5, uh, Lamb, 3, uh, 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 the other guy, 2, Prescott, yeah, that's, 2. That's what I'm looking but, at. But yeah. this is the whole thing. Going into the fourth quarter, Rico Dottle had nine carries, Zeke had two, and uh, the two other guys had one. Going into the fourth quarter, the Dallas Cowboys had nine and two is 11, and then they had 13 carries. Then yeah. in the fourth quarter, when they're trying to run the clock out, Zeke got five more carries for four more yards. That's because, not good. Because it's that's a, a run-only situation. But when uh, he, but, but when he was... Two carries in the first half for 15 yards. Why don't you give him some first down runs? Yeah. Or, or, but no, you wait to the fourth quarter when you got a run, and then now you say, oh, well, Zeke can't run. And not only that, Zeke ain't got no holes. And this is what I was thinking about this as well. Um, we talk about Brandon Cooks and his lack of production. The boy is open on them deep balls. Dak, when last time you seen Dak hit Brandon Cooks on the deep ball? I yeah, feel like he hit him about twice. I feel like I feel like Dak just throws it well, just gonna, to just to get defenses to try to back up a little bit. And, and I don't even think he believes he's going to complete it when he throws that thing. And then when the, so I, is it the receiver? Like or is it the quarterback? Is my is what I'm saying? And it goes little back both. at a receiver yeah. as a receiver. I can't do nothing if you ain't giving me the ball, bro. But it's been a couple of times though that Brandon Cook I have seen on the deep ball. It looked just from my perception, mm-hmm. it looked like Brandon Cook gave up. I mean, he probably don't believe I mean, in him. And the ball looked like it was about four feet in front of it. And you just saw, you slowed down, and it's four feet in front of you. I mean, but now it was some of them that just playing missing. And some a lot, of them like most of them, get, majority of them. Yeah, I mean, I mean you know, and then a, a couple of them. You no, know, they keep saying he had speed. 
Yeah, maybe I, maybe I he's always on those balls that he's getting overthrown on. He's always got separation. He was two, three yards in front of the guy last game. But that he fell overthrown. down. He fell down. No, I'm talking about the overthrow. Yeah, then one it's, he fell down. You're going to get an overthrow yeah. or two on a deep ball, and, and he only throws like four thing. or five deep balls a game. You know, and, and, and half of them are overthrown you know. by far. Like, the dude can't even make a play or they throwing out of bounds. Well, you know, if you got, if you got real good speed, it's hard to overthrow you. I'm just, I'm just being, because Brandon Cook have too many. Or uh, under, uh, underthrown. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's and, and that's too, what it's been years. It's a combination. It may be 60 back, but it's 40 to him, too. It may be 60 I back. wouldn't even say Maybe. 40 that much. Huh? Yeah, I, I, I see Brandon Cook just too many look like he's not a deep ball threat. So what you're saying is you wasn't impressed with that Giants win. No, I'm not impressed with no Giants win. You still, you still anticipating 11 wins this season? No, I, I just said that a while ago. What'd you say? I said it's to start off eleven to thirteen for you. And then when you started off, <laughs> now and then when you I said six, seven. No, no, no. and then after you start off zero and two, I said you're more like ten eleven. Yeah. Now, now you got, got some of your best players. Hey, no matter how they are not playing, I doubt if the guys gonna come in and play better than them. I'm telling you, would have they would have been they would have been stars. So now for yeah, now you looking like now you looking like seven eight wins because you got your your two best players which wasn't doing nothing, and now you got guys not as good as them. So, I mean, but it may force them to play a different style of defense. And this is the thing about the NFL nowadays. These guys, they don't play preseason. No. They don't play preseason games. The so. first four or five games almost like. Yeah, it's it's, I, I take it as preseason. That's what yeah, I'm saying. So is that, why, is that why Dak's throwing so much? You say, you say Cooks is, Tripp say Cooks is washed. <laughs> yeah, I hate, hate, hate Tripp. Me, hey, man, I ain't seen a lot. Everybody keep telling me stuff about Brandon Cook. I just don't never see it. Chip, yeah. Chip say that uh, you know, uh, that that CD is a crybaby, so Dak got to look his way, and other dudes are open. Trip, I just think Dak doesn't go through his progressions. He makes up his mind before the play starts where the ball's going, and he stares them down. Dak been staring receivers down before CD got here. Dak been staring receivers down forever, and that's another one of my complaints. I got a list of them, bro. Oh, I got a list. And it's of all fundamentals that he should know, especially in his eighth year in the league. Yeah. Like, that's why I give Dak no passes. I ain't give him no passes. After really, I was mad his first year when he continued to start. And I keep going back to it. Dak stunted his own growth. The Cowboys stunted Dak's growth. Yeah. By not giving Tony Romo his job back. Dak was primed and set up in a great position. To Who's learn behind Romo. Who was the coach then? Uh, Garrett? Yeah, Jason Garrett. Oh, okay. Dak was in a great position, or it might have been Wade Phillips. I don't know. Uh, I think it was Garrett, though. It was one of Jerry. Yeah, it, was, it was Garrett. Because Jerry told him to do that. Jerry Stupid. is the biggest, is the biggest problem, man. Stupid. Jerry want to be the owner, hey. the general manager, and the stand up. I told the, you, Jerry, like the way the, that Prescott looked on the back of the jersey on the field. But I'm uh, like this, Jerry, <laughs> Jerry, too busy worried about the wrong thing. Oh, him, and Jamie, him and Jamie Fox need to learn to talk about mm. something different. Yeah, man, say so can't take a can't take a shower around. Jerry can't come in the locker room no more. How you ban the owner from the locker room? <laughs> hey, man, I'm Jay like this. I'm gonna get my clothes, go home, take a shower, yeah. and I got to sit there and watch Jerry. What in the ditty? <laughs> boy, they're tripping, dog. <laughs> That hey, boy, that boy measuring, hey, measuring slongs hey, around here, Hey, man. anyway, the Cowboys and the Giants. The Giants, Cowboys, yeah. there's nothing to be impressed about. Yeah, that wasn't. And the a, Giants lost to them, so. That was not a very impressive win at all. I no, not say, at all. I was going to say. But, uh, you know, it's free agency this week, man. The, the uh, trade deadline is approaching. Uh, and people are talking. The last thing I want to see is a receiver come here. A receiver will come here to die. You know, uh, Mari Cooper, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, and uh, as of mo- most recent, uh, uh, DeAndre, what's my boy in, in Vegas? I just lost his last uh, name right now. I'm talking Devontae about Adams. Devontae Adams, yeah. Devontae Adams. Uh, you know, he, he demanded a trade. So uh, people are saying uh, he would be a great fit here. Look, no receiver will be a great fit here, okay? We don't have a quarterback that can get him the ball. Now, if we got a running back or a lineman or we got somebody defensively on the D-line. We got to get a lineman. I think, I think we need to be talking more about Jadavian Clowney. Uh, we need to be talking about that guy with the Aaron Jets Donald, that came and Aaron, Aaron Donald, Donald, but he's not he's just a retired. If we got Davian Klein and Aaron Donald, uh, that's that'll a defense. be great. 
<laughs> hey, but that, but that's probably not gonna happen. No, you know, it's, it's one more. It's one more kid. Uh, the guy with the Jets right now that played with the Eagles, number seven. Then, then, uh, then the man is out of the Eagles, and then he got to the Jets, and now he won't out of the Jets. Yeah, and then everybody, Reddick, Hassan Reddick. And this and is what I, my phone. Just came to my and mind. this is what I want everybody to quit. It'd be great to get Hassan Reddick Reddick down here. That'd oh, be a great oh, trade. Look, look at Derrick Henry. What he's doing with the ball, Reddick. The Cowboys should have got him. No, they shouldn't have. No, I mean, yeah, because we don't have a line for him. Exactly. Yeah, he needs and blocking ahead of him. Yeah, and, yeah, and so, yeah. so if he was here, so if uh, Javon, I mean, if uh, Derrick Henry was here uh, with the Cowboys. He wouldn't have half the yards he got now because he wouldn't have no holes to run through. Yeah. I haven't saw a hole all year for nobody. So we can't talk about Zeke and Rico Dowler. We can talk about that. I haven't talked about him yet. I think I actually think Zeke, man, Zeke looks better than he did when he was here before. Hey man, it's and, good. and and this is what this is what I'm also thinking. I'm wondering, are they limiting their carries right now so they can keep him fresh for the playoffs while letting Dak Dak ain't got Dak, he can't work out. Uh, kinks that you've had forever in three and three four games. I'm saying, are they are they limiting? The, the rest, are they keep? Are they limiting the running back? The playoffs. Oh no, they're not. They're not gonna I'm make just saying the in their mindsets. You are better, they limiting you, their running backs for now, like games five and on? That's a that is a dumb strategy. I agree. Because first off, you ain't playing like this. You ain't going no playoffs. First thing, before you worry about the playoffs, you got to worry about getting there. They're not going. I'm telling you right now. We're getting third in the East. I don't know. The Eagles ain't playing too well either. They look shaky at times, but I still think but Jalen Hurts is a get, better quarterback than that. But even if you get second, it, it, it may still not be good enough to get them. They're getting third. Behind who? The Eagles. And who else? Washington winning this thing. No. Bet. No. Watch. You want to know why? Because they have the Queen. best quarterback in the okay. East. Washington's not going to win. Washington's going to win it. No. Hey, we lost to the Cardinals by a lot last year. And I know no, last, last year, year different team. Year. We'll lose by... But we didn't, even lose a, we didn't even lose to Kyler Murray. <laughs> we lost yeah. to Dobbs. Dobbs ain't playing right now. Yeah. Dobbs on somebody. He got a clipboard with yeah. it, some headphones well, how on somewhere. How many games they win last year? They're not winning the same amount of games. Who? Arizona? No, the Cowboys. The Cowboys won, what, 13, 12? Yeah. They were 12 and four. Uh, 12 and five? Or, or yeah, 13, they were 12 and five. They were 12 and five, 12 and five last okay, year. Okay, they ain't winning no 12 games this year. No. So the quarterbacks that he beat, and I'm going to say it like No, this. they lost to the Cardinals last year is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> but the, Dak, I mean, Dak lost to Dobbs. The Cowboys lost to the Cardinals. Mm-hmm. And Dak was a quarterback. Absolutely. And the other, <laughs> and the other 12 games they won, Dak was the quarterback. Yeah, but we, we talked about yeah, them yeah. wins. Them wins was uh, well, four they, against the Giants, they were in four the, against the Eagles. They were in the NFL. That's all I can tell you. Now, they, they were in the NFL. Whack and, he does, and since Mike McCarthy been two, there. Two he wins has, against 500. He has, he has four 12-win seasons. His, four his most, of them since he's been at Dallas Cowboy. Mike McCarthy has... Yeah, Over twelve win seasons. Yeah, so the Cowboys have been beating somebody in the NFL and all that down playing the Giants and all that. Not the good America, teams because this is the whole thing. No, all the L, all the L's except for the Cardinals came let me, let me came say, against good teams. Let, let, let me say it like this: everybody lost to the good teams. Uh, not yeah, so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah not, not yeah, so yeah, fast, yeah. my because, friend. Because this is the this is the we thing. Lost one to if, the you only, last year. if you only got seven eight wins, who you beating? You got to be – you ain't beating Kansas City, San Francisco. You losing to Dallas, so you can't be beating no good teams. The only good teams they beat last year were Detroit. It's only two or three good and teams. Miami. It's and Miami. It's only – I'm Miami sorry. Is not the, a good the only team. 500 teams, 500 and up teams they beat last year were Detroit, Miami, and Seattle. Okay. So That's how it. many did they play? Five or six. That means so they, they got nine. They got no, nine no. wins against under five hundred teams. Okay, but they only but they only played <laughs> they only played five teams that were over five hundred. That's what I'm trying to tell you. No, you they know, played eight. They played eight teams over five hundred. When last year? Yeah, it's seventeen games. They had nine. No, 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 no. no. Yes. Go, go look at their record. They, oh, so, they were three and five against five hundred teams last okay. year. Okay, so what was the rest of the league against? Uh, San Francisco and Kansas City. That's who they lost to. They losing to the good team. They lose to Kansas City last year. No, I, I mean, they lost to Green Bay. They lost to the Dolphins. No, they, you talking about playoffs. Yeah. 
They lost San Francisco in regular season, season got count. blown. Regular season, regular season don't even count anyway because they win. They got four 12 win seasons with two playoff wins against bad no, teams. The regular season, no. So you got 12 bad teams. That's what I'm trying to tell you now. Everybody bad because if no. Dallas beat number bad teams, you got 12 bad teams. You got 12 I'm bad teams. I'm under 500 teams bad. Under 500 teams are bad. And we got nine wins against them last year. How many wins do we have on the season? 12. Okay. That means we got three wins against over 500 teams. Okay. And five losses against over 500 go, teams. Go, go, go look at San Francisco record and see what they – they only beat three or four teams over 500. The rest of them was under 500. That's why they're under 500. You keep losing. That's all I'm saying. I ain't trying to take over oh, no, the Cowboys. San Francisco playing a better conference than we do in the West. Arizona, who beat us. The Rams, Seattle, we, beat, we beat the we, Rams. We beat the Rams in Seattle. And lost so how Arizona, they better than us? And lost to Arizona and the Cardinals. And we so, barely so, so, beat Seattle. Barely. Close don't count. We blew this the Rams is, out. Is, we barely beat Kansas Seattle. Kansas City barely won a lot of games, but they won them. They Super Bowl winners. Yeah, but Kansas they City barely won. in this conversation so with the Cowboys. barely win. Only we way don't. Kansas City can be in this conversation only, with the Cowboys. Close on the count in Horseshoes and Haggadies. And all I'm saying is that you got a lot of bad teams in the NFL. That's all I'm saying. And to me, to me. I thought Buffalo was a good team till the other day. They are a good so team. They just played against another good team that can run the ball and find their weakness. Now, now Buffalo been exposed on defense. But everybody don't have Lamar Jackson. Everybody don't have Derrick Henry. So that's a very special situation in Baltimore. Lamar so threw 480 so yards. So is that an excuse why Dallas lost on? Because they don't have – I don't give a damn who you got, J.A. They don't have a quarterback got, or running back. All, all that don't does, matter. Does Dallas play, have play the damn game. Does Dallas have a dynamic quarterback? Play, play the game. Does Dallas have a dynamic Does quarterback? Have a dynamic? He didn't look dynamic the other night. He has been the rest of the season, though. We can't say the same for Dak. Dak been, Dak been dynamic for three or four seasons. Look at the record. Look no, at the, he hadn't. Look his, at, his stats look, have. Yeah. Well, well then, if your stats dynamic, who got your stats? You did. I can so do that against been below 500 teams. I, mean, I can go throw five-yard passes. Yeah, okay. That's what you say. Down. No, you can't. No, you can't. Not I in bet the I, NFL. I bet I could. No, no, no. I no, bet no, I could. No, no, you better. No, no. You ain't 28 no more, Jay. You 40. You can't. <laughs> Jay ain't can't do nothing in no NFL, y'all. I'm telling y'all that. Hey, that now, was a time. When he was a, yeah. That yeah. was a time. Now, say that. Say that. But right yeah. now. That was a, hey, when I was Dak's age, I was better than him. No, I say that. No, you were. Yeah, no, you I bet. No, no, I was in my peak. I was in my prime at Dak's age. Absolutely, I was better than Dak at But you age. never played quarterback. I play center field. Come play center field and right field, man, Dak. Man, come hit talk, a fastball, man, curveball, man, slider. Man, you know what I'm saying? Man, I can absolutely. If man, I can do that. We talk about hey, something. I tell you this. Notre Dame, about something. Notre Dame's starting middle linebacker is they starting shortstop. Yeah. Yeah. And the boy number 34. But he's not their starting quarterback. That boy go hard. But he's not their starting quarterback. I've been playing quarterback. Uh, quarterback. Look at John Elway. He played baseball. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Plenty of quarterbacks. Uh, Tom Brady played baseball. The GOAT. Absolutely. Go. Go. Tom Brady. Who said Tom Brady was the GOAT? Super Bowls. I bet I, I bet you Super Bowl wins. I bet Eli Manning didn't say the damn goal. He beat him twice. He must be pretty <laughs> freaking nice. He beat him twice. I played him twice. I beat him twice. You gonna tell me you better than me? Hey, but seven, you, but seven, seven, seven Super Bowls, Eli wasn't there. What happened them years? But the two Same, remember that joint hey, conversation? Hey, hey, remember hey, that joint conversation? Hey, but, hey, but check this out. The two he was there, you was there, yeah. and I beat you. So I don't know. When I beat you, no. you can't tell hey. me you better than me. Hey. When when, when somebody uh. beat you, you can't tell them that you better than them. Uh, the giant. Eli cannot, he, Tom Brady cannot look at Eli Manning and say, I'm better than you. And Eli going to look at him and say, why you didn't beat me? Why you didn't beat me? Stop it. Uh, I, yeah. thought the, uh, I, I thought uh, the opportunity me. was to, I thought the object was to win the game. I'm, Eli won. I'm just if saying, we going to uh, put people against people, Eli beat Tom Brady twice. He 2 and all against Tom Brady. So you can't make me think he better because he beat him twice. Uh, He's very nice. You don't believe people versus people in team sports. So the Giants, uh, the I'm, Giants I'm beat the Patriots. Huh? Yeah, absolutely. So Eli didn't beat Tom uh, Brady. The Giants you are absolutely beat the right. <laughs> you are absolutely right. So don't tell me Tom Brady is the GOAT. I'm well, just saying. Hey, hey, well, tell me if he the GOAT, tell me how come uh, 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 what's the kicker? You know, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Adam Vinatieri. Adam Vinatieri won three Super Bowls with with field goals. Tom Brady got him there. Hey, Adam, Adam Vinatieri wasn't kicking no ninety nine yards. I tell you what, the only one that might have been Aubrey was San Francisco. <laughs> was San Francisco was down? 
Go look at the record. Joe Montana drove them to touchdowns, not field goals. Hey. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. That's all they needed, though. He ain't had yeah, time yeah, for the anyway, whole thing. You moving know? on. See, you know, Tom Brady, he <laughs> played see. a very systematic and, hey, and hey. very... Uh... Y'all see how J.A. get me distracted when we talk about the Cowboys. <laughs> Let's talk about the Cowboys and the Giants. <laughs> yeah, man. So, in free agency, who you think they had to pick up? You, you think they should go offense or defense? I definitely think defense. Guys like Jadavian Clowney. But I don't know who they go. Hassan Reddick, who is not playing right now. Who is a Jerry, Hassan you know, Reddick is who hurt I'm, I'm uh, like Brock this. Purdy. 49 is going to mess around and get Hassan I'm going to say it like this here. I don't think Jerry going to do nothing. Man. I just don't. Man, I, don't I don't think, think so either. But I, I think, actually, I think he is now. If he, I'm if not Jerry getting my could have been stronger nothing. and stuck to his original plan of not signing Dak and letting Dak play through his contract year, I agree with you right there. I, I don't think Jerry would have. That's brought anybody else in. Do. But now that he has brought Dak in and signed him to this outrageous contract, I believe there's got, Jerry's got to do something. He's put this money up, so he's got to make this team better. And his two starting DNs, the stars on this team, highest contracts on defense outside of that cornerback, they're, they're not playing. Uh, they, well, uh, or uh, Michael doesn't even have his contract yeah, uh, yet. Uh, uh, Just uh, Lawrence, the Lawrence, 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 Lawrence. 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 Lawrence will be out six, eight weeks, right? Absolutely. And then uh, uh, what's his name is week to week? Michael? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mozzie Smith did have a better game against the Giants. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. I ain't going to talk about that later. That's like a practice. I got, I got something else about that later. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's keep this train yeah, rolling, man. Moving, I mean, it's, it's still, it's still on the Cowboys, Cowboys though. Though. I'll make you talk about they sorry. Yeah, real bad about it too, real man. But bad. we love the Cowboys. You man. know, I'm I'm still root for you, even though I'm wearing a KC hat. Yeah, I'm gonna still root for you, man. Y'all my y'all my well, boys, man. Root. But what you think? What you think about what, what's the record gonna be after this week? They got the Steelers. Right. Justin Fields. Remember, Justin Fields gave us problems on on the Bears when he came here, mm. right? We beat him pretty good, pretty handily. But at first, yeah. Justin Fields was the problem. Now he's on the Steelers. It don't matter what I think. I'm gonna pick the Cowboys. You picking the Cowboys over the Steelers? Yeah. It don't matter what I think. Oh, cause that's. Oh, I mean, matter. I understand loyalty, yeah, huh? I'm a loyal cat too. I love the Cowboys in my yeah. heart. <laughs> it hey, don't matter what I anybody think. Anybody out there? I'm the Cowboys. I, I, I just need y'all to know this. And right I'm gonna now. tell you like this: it. This may be what. This may be the surprise of all. The Cowboys may play better with yeah. the boy. Yeah. Let me see. I, I don't see strange things in football. I'm just saying, but I, I mean, it don't matter how I feel, what my heart, what my brain. <laughs> But I'm gonna beat the Cowboys. I told you, I told you at the start yeah. of the season, I'm gonna beat the Trip, Cowboys. Oh, uh, Trip the Ghost say that that uh, Dak revived Amari Cooper's career. Actually, uh, I think kind of saw it. No, kind of saw it. Amari Cooper is who he is, but he took advantage of Dak while he was here because he had somebody they helped each other. They helped each other. Dak oh, yeah. didn't. If Dak helped Amari, he would have much better numbers. If Dak, Dak, there's a lot of passes that Dak missed to Amari. But you put Amari Cooper on the field, he's going to get open, and he's going to make plays when he has the ball in his hand. I don't care who throws the ball to him. He had right? So Dak better, was a recipient he had of some Amari better Cooper's. years with Dak Prescott. The same way C.D. Lamb is making these five yards and the 55-yard touchdowns, Amari, Amari Cooper was doing, doing the same, that, the was. same type Amari of something. Ain't he never, wasn't housing Amari it. Amari ain't broke no tackles. He wasn't Amari housing wasn't, it. Uh, hey. He wasn't housing it, but he was getting open. And, yeah, because he run good routes. He was open, but he wasn't housing he wasn't it though. Open, and wide open. Yeah, that wide open. Because he run good Sometimes. routes. You don't see CD wide open. That's my problem with CD. CD. Don't have to be wide open. You didn't see To wide open. You didn't see a lot of these playmakers wide open. Jay, Jay, Jay. What you say about Wait a minute. 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 Bullshit. What did CD just do? He just broke two weeks in a row. He's broken, been between two guys, caught a pass, got out, made the catch, got out of the harm's way, and somehow scored the touchdown from a long distance. Two games in a row. What you mean? That's the same type of stuff T.O. did. T.O. did it for 10 but, years. But T.O. did about it more physically. T.O. Hey, this game is what have you done for me lately? This is just my opinion. What have you done for me lately? Lamb is not in the category with T.O. Let's talk about something else. T.O. was a physical specimen. C.D. Lamb is a physical specimen in different ways. T.O. is uh, just massive, brute, brawn, okay. fast, speed, straightforward. I'm going to say, okay. No, C.D. Lamb not, not straight is twitchy. You better go see them. Them five yard hitches that killed caught and shook it, took it to the house. Straight forward. Yeah, well, he, he shook the guy. He shook the guy. He caught it five yards, shook it, took it to the house. It wasn't much of a shake. It was more so that he was more physical than a guy that no, tried the to guy. No, the guy didn't even him. touch him, but he was in front. 
T.O. Boy, see, let's talk about something else. Hey, T.O. was cold-blooded now. T.O., my guy. I'm not talking about that by T.O. I'm not saying that C.D. is T.O. You ain't even players. in the category. You ain't in the category. I, I believe he is that in the category, me. but he's a That's different type me. of player. First off, he got to do it seven, eight more years before he get in the category. He does. And he might yeah. have an opportunity. He's going to he, have an opportunity. Yeah, he, he going to have it, but he got to do it first. I believe C.D. is that guy. And this is our argument about C.D. Lamb. I've been watching him since Oklahoma. I know C.D. is that dude. Period. He's a lot more. Every play, he, he, he's a lot player. more physical than people every, think he is. Every play, I can't tell. They, they've been down every, every football player that I talk to that play professional think that CeeDee Lamb is a slot receiver. The guy we went to, I agree, he's better in the slot. slot. I agree. And it's, it's hard to be a number one receiver in the slot. Name me how many number one receivers been slot receivers. All the Name Patriots me. receivers. Huh? Julian Edelman. Do you ever want no number one? No, John wasn't no he, number one. He was, he, that was Brady's number one option. Absolutely. Outside of Gronkowski. Absolutely that was. Okay. Julian Edelman had 100 plus catches in several years. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Wes Welker did too. Then he went okay. to Peyton Manning and did the same thing. Those were number one guys, but they were in the slot. Okay. You don't have 100 catches not being the number one guy. Some teams don't have a number one guy. Yes, you man. Come on, man. Those guys didn't strike no fear in nobody because they know you ain't going for their yards. You going to catch it, I'm going to tackle you. That's not a number one guy to me. A number one guy got to be able to do more than catch eight or nine yard pass. Julian, that's all that. Julian, you know, he ain't never went deep. He ain't went across, ain't went across no middle. He ain't did all that. He started across the middle. I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about deep ends, deep outs. So he ain't did all that. To me, just because you catch a lot of passes, that don't make you a number one receiver. That's just my opinion. I mean, because they, you can't be a number one receiver. To me, averaging eight, nine yards per, per completion. When them rankings come me. out of the end of the year and you number one, how, how, how you me. not number one? That's just me. That's just when, me. Them, when, when the stats come out of the end of the year and you number one, how you not number one? But I just say that. Stop, stop, I, I was about to say that. that. I was about to say that. Hey, that yeah, I was about to say that. Stop scaring out number one. Yeah. Why you ain't number one, Jay? He's the analytics king. Thank you. Did so much element. See, see, I use Jay arguments against his own. I affair. use yours against no, you too. No, hell, I do too. I use them. So, so let's talk about something else. <laughs> Analytics King, right Adelaide there. Analytics King, Adelaide's King. Thank you so you much. You proved my, you proved my point. He's like Analytics <laughs> King, just like that Chris. <laughs> oh, let's go. Hey, I heard it. I heard it when, as I was saying hey, it. Hey, he knew I was coming. As I was saying it, I was like, oh, oh here he comes. This is a setup. Hey, hey but anyway, man, everybody out there, see something, say something. If you see something, say something, man. Appreciate hey, man, you, man. Rich, man. Oh, I'd rather have Josh Allen than Dak any day of the week, Rich. Oh, man, who wouldn't? Brady, who wouldn't? Brady, Brady is the GOAT, man. No, Deion no. Branch was the number one. <laughs> Deion Branch, dog. Come on. Uh, defeated his own argument. Guy. Yeah, he got me. He got me, Trip. He got me, dog. Okay. Hey, oh, I feel like everybody, I feel like I feel like I'm the villain on the show. Uh, no. You know what no, I'm saying? I, I, I feel like I'm the villain. But anyway, everybody, hey, everybody hey, root for you, huh? No, no, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, no. hey, 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 hey Trill, still the walk making the most sense. <laughs> Oh, oh, come hey, on, man. Man. Hey, man. We love this show, man. We love y'all trip, man. Yeah. Keep it coming, man. Yeah, keep but it anyway, coming, I'm going to pick Dallas. Hey. Even, though, even though my brain did <laughs> no better, I'm going to pick Dallas because I'm in Dallas. I'm picking. I told you at the beginning of the yeah. season, I'm picking Dallas every week. I'm the realistic Cowboy fan. TJ Watt going to get them boys here. Oh. I'm picking Pittsburgh, man. Hey, Mike Tomlin. Yeah, Justin Fields. Yeah, well, Dallas going to have some issues this weekend, man, but. Uh, I'm still a Cowboys fan, man. Keep I'm just real. I'm just real with oh, you, man. Oh, I'm real. I'm, I'm here to set proper expectations. Uh, man, that's that's something we learned in baseball. Oh, yeah. You know, you got to set proper expectations to kind of, oh. you know, when you're going against a number one pitcher, expect to get out twice today. Yeah. All right, but we're going to try to get a hit. Yeah, we're going to get and a And we're going to be happy with that hit. Yeah. But when I'm facing that third or fourth, fifth dude in the rotation, I need to get three hits. This is a stat day today. This is when we get that three forty five average. Get it off of two eighty. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's so I, I try to temper my expectations. Oh yeah. Oh, Pittsburgh is an ace. I don't yeah. expect to do too much against that oh, defense. Yeah. And then that's just okay. Do I really think Dallas gonna beat Pittsburgh? I'm not. I'm pick anyway. <laughs> but you still, I'm picking I'm pick if, anyway. if, if that's the if that's the case, I'm picking Dallas too. But I'm just picking them. Yeah, that, I'm uh, Pittsburgh, I'm home, I'm home. Yeah, I'm don't think I'm no sports. I expect I Pittsburgh to win. Is yeah, what I'm trying to I, tell I, you. Man. Hey, I'm gonna tell you like this: the way Dallas playing, I don't expect them to beat very much of nobody. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs>
That's I don't a fact. Expect them to be there because they ain't playing worth nothing. That's man. a fact. So nobody. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. Hey, for real. I called it before we started, man. Six wins, six seven well, wins. You know, I was people were talking on, to me like I was that's crazy. That's what they've been doing. I'm going on. You know, I'm doing the police. Thing. Hey, man. The yeah, MO is twelve wins. You know, sports is what have you done for me lately? And yeah. hey, it's a, it's constantly evolving. And if yeah, you stay the same, yeah. everybody else getting better. And yeah, everybody else changed. I was. We had work. We went backwards. We went got Z. We got we we went back to 2022 around here. You know, minus Pollard. So that's like 2020. Yep. Matter of fact, we back in COVID year, you know, <laughs> no pilot with Zeke and Dak. But, uh, but nah, man. So uh, if y'all took a look this weekend, man, y'all know one of my favorite players in this league right now, the Baker Mayfields. Oh. OU's own Boomer Sooner. Yeah, man. Holla, uh, what's my boy, uh, Heisman Trophy winner? Oh, yeah. Baker yeah. Mayfield? Yeah, you see him and Tom Brady had little words back and forth over the weekend. Oh, uh, did they? Yeah, Tom, uh, Baker Mayfield said, what did they say? They said uh, that some about that before Baker came, they couldn't relate to the quarterback or something. And then Tom Brady came back and said, I thought the object was winning the Super Bowl. Yeah. Not relate to the quarterback. Yeah. Something, something like that, they said. Yeah. Something kind of going back and forth. Yeah. And I was like, you know, Baker, you, you know, go back and forth with somebody else. Don't you know, Tom Hayden, because Baker out there doing yeah, what he's doing in Tampa all... and Tampa winning without Tom. This is what, this is what Tom is hating on. Tom wish he could have had much fun as Baker have on the field. Right? Absolutely. And Baker has people, a great time. And that's why people don't like Baker, because Baker having fun. And football is a game, man. Have fun. Have man. a great time, man. man. have fun and still be good. The man won the Heisman. You think he don't have skills? You think he can't put a pass on somebody numbers? He's an undersized guy. He's a lot like Drew Brees. You but know, and I, I constantly say this, but. But if you ask, hey, go ask Cleveland, is he any good? I'll tell you, he better than Sean Watson. Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> go hey, ask they, Cleveland, they, they, is he any good? They, they looking to tell yeah. Bay like, yeah. what did we do? Yeah. And what they, did we do? And I told you, nephew. We groomed this kid. And, and I told you, nephew, I said, when Cleveland did that, I was like, what the hell is Cleveland doing? Absolutely. That was a, that was a bad move by the Cleveland And Rams. the Cleveland going to suffer for that for a long time. It's hard to get a quarterback, man. Yeah. Baker Mayfield went out there, man, beat the Philadelphia Eagles 33 to 16. The kid can just straight ball. Man, Baker, Baker was uh, let me see. He was 30 for 47 for 334 yards, man. Two touchdowns, no picks. He got sacked twice. Do you know why Baker? You know, uh, Baker QBR believed. 100 uh, rating was 100.2. Baker believe, man. That's the main Baker, thing. Man, what? man, Baker. And like hey. people be always talking about be humble and all that. Go to hell with that humble man, shit, man. When you when you have success, that instills a, a authentic confidence in you that nobody can take away because you've done it. You've been there and you've done it. You've beat everybody. You've seen that you were better than everybody or whatever this is that you're doing. That instills a confidence in you. Can't nobody. You can be sitting across from the expert of experts of experts of football. But with your accomplishments inside of you, you know this dude don't know what he's talking about. No. Bro, I can play it out. No. Just because you can't see it because of the people that you've been watching lose and you continue to try and box this person into this shell of whatever you think winning looks like and you and you pass me up, bro, that's on you, dog. But I'm a winner, dog. Everywhere I go, I'm going to affect because I win because I got this confidence in me. You know what I'm no, saying? No, no. I know what it takes to win. I know you don't know what happens behind the scenes. All you see is the commercials, the celebrations, the YouTube dances. That's what you see. But when that's off and you don't see none of that, you don't know what's going on. And I got that formula, dog. I got that formula, dog. That's Baker Mayfield talking to the rest of the league. Baker Mayfield got that formula on. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, because this is the whole thing about Baker Mayfield. <sighs> like I said, Baker Mayfield. And I'm going to say it like this. Baker Mayfield had confidence before he did it because he already knew he could. Absolutely. But, that's but, 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 but you then, know, that's, 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 a, that's you, a certain level of confidence. No, but then once you go do it, that's another that's level. That's another I level I of confidence. It. Now Absolutely. I did it. And I'm, and, and, and I'm cocky. And yeah. I'm arrogant. Yeah. And, and, and I'm confident in yeah. all of that because this is what I want people to do. I want all y'all to go to y'all Webster Dictionary. And look up the word humble. Yeah. And and if you tell me how many humble athletes you want on your squad, I want zero. Yeah. I don't want no humble athletes that think less of themselves on my – because that's what the I'm humble means. I'm telling you. Don't look up what humble, humble means. 
Think less of yourself. Yeah. You be humble to Jesus Christ. Yeah. But these other players, no, no, no so humility much. there, bro. Yeah. Cause not, I'm, not I'm, no no yeah. humility in that in that sense of the nah, word. Nah, because I'm a I'm gonna tell you like this. Uncle is the best you ever seen. If you don't believe me, ask me. I'll tell you. Ask me, dog. Ask me. I'll, or, tell or, you. I'll sit there and watch for about ten minutes, and you'll find find out real quick. Yeah. You know what I'm I, saying? I, I, and that's how I feel. That's how I feel. You know, that's hereditary right there. Yeah, man. And it's my real uncle. Yeah. And enough. if you don't know, this is yeah. Noonan Sports and Tech, and I appreciate you tuning in today, man. Hey, we man. just chopping it up about sports like we like to do often and. Hit that subscribe button if you're out there, man. We got memberships. We got merch, you know. Go on and join, man. Bunch. Go on and hit that super like. You know, go on and, you know, holla at your boys, man. We, we in here talking just authentic sports right here. You know, no biases. You know, I love the Cowboys, but I tell you when they suck. Oh, I'll tell you when they suck. Do it right now. All of them suck. You know what I'm saying? From all so, the way from Jerry down. Yeah, man. Ab at the absolutely. Top. And hey, man, again, it's your Wednesday. Hope you're getting the sip and get over that hump, man. Start happy hour early, whatever you want to call it, man. That's how we get down. Yeah, we get see down, something, man. say something, man. We good up here. Yeah, man. Yeah, we good, anyway, man. We we absolutely good. Next, but now nah, we now nah, we still on this, oh, man. So Sam end, Donald, four and with the Minnesota Vikings. Them boys look real right now. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. See, Sam Donald's another one of them chip on my shoulder. I was a, a, a blue chip stud when, when I was coming up type cat, you yeah. know? See, and this is the whole thing. Do you know what's different between Sam Donald now and the old Sam Donald? It ain't the X's and the O's, it's the Billy's and the Joe's. Absolutely. The people he playing with. Absolutely, man. Much better group around him right yeah, now, Yeah, man. man. So shout yeah. out Sam Donald. He's going in, man. I can't say enough about this Jaden Daniels kid. He went out in Arizona. You know, I picked Arizona to win. I was like, all right, uh, Kyler Murray I... can match his, his offense, you know. I think that Arizona's defense is a little better because Washington got the new defense they still trying to implement. No, sir. Yeah. That boy, Jay, I think he set a record for the for the most drives consecutively, uh, most scoring drives consecutively. Something like that for, for a rookie. Not, Absolutely. Not uh, no, I think it's all time. Oh, did it? I think it's all time. Huh? Yeah, it ain't for a rookie at all. Like the the kids scored eight nine times in a row. Yeah, absolutely, you know, it's going back to two games. Oh, the last, oh, going back two. They games. haven't punted in yeah. forever. Oh, okay, because there was one game the week before that was no punts. Was that his game? Hey, if if, if you don't punch, you can't be a Pro Bowl punter, right? No, Cowboys hadn't had a Pro Bowl punter for like three or four years in a row. Because he punted all the time. Pun all the time. Pun all. <laughs> Goodness gracious, man! Yeah, what stats right, matter right. in life to you? And you can't and you can't be no Pro Bowl punter punting twice a game. You got no. Punt regular. No. You got to pump three, four. So let, let, let's look at this young man's stat line against the Cardinals. Jaden Daniels was 26 for 30. 233 yards. 7.8 average, one touchdown. He also had an interception in the game. 96.3 rating. Put up 42 points against the Cardinals in the game. They beat the Cardinals 42 to 14. That's why I said they're going to beat the Cowboys. Because Washington scores touchdowns. They get down the field. Jaden Daniels yeah. manipulates defenses very well, man. So, hey, y'all go watch that kid if you haven't seen him play, man. Yeah, he, he's, yeah, he's, a, he's a special quarterback. He is very yeah, good. And I'm it makes it look like easy. Too. No matter what Washington do, they ain't going to do squat because they got Dan Quinn as a coach. Jaden Daniels is like yeah. canceling I mean, Jayden, that out. Yeah, Jaden Daniels might have a good year. But I'm saying when it comes to playoff time, man, Dan Quinn just – that kid's very good. Yeah, yeah. That kid's very good. And I don't know if you got yeah, to see, but uh, Joe Flacco. We named a couple of our episodes Flacco last year. Yeah, same, man. We made a saying that we Flacco. That means we live right yeah. now. Yeah. You we know all, what I'm saying? We all, hey, if it ain't Flacco, it ain't me. It ain't me, man. <laughs> Flacco came in. Anthony Richardson went down again, this time with a hip injury. We saw what a hip injury did to Bo Jackson, and I hope it's not that significant what's going on with this young man, but – Against the Steelers, we both picked the Steelers to win this game, right? And uh, the Colts, once Flacco. Anthony Richardson went down, Flacco, Flacco came in through through uh, threw for two touchdowns. Uh, Jonathan Taylor ran for one, and the the uh, Indianapolis Colts beat the Pittsburgh Steelers twenty seven to twenty four. It was a really good game. Oh yeah, I know. Justin I saw Fields played that. a decent game. Yeah, he, yeah, he was coming yeah. back in that game. Yeah, man, and so. uh, say man, Flacco did the same thing last year in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Joe Flacco. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to pray for y'all, for my, for my Jets fans out there. You know uh, what I'm saying? I'm going to pray for y'all, man, because, hey, that's like the year the Steelers lost to Tim Tebow in the playoffs. These boys, then, these boys lost to the Denver Broncos 10-9. And, and, uh, and, and Rodgers, whoo, that, that reminds me of that playoff game 
when he lost to the 49ers that year. Rodgers ain't what? 10 to 9. 10 to 9. Three field goals. That ain't supposed to happen on a, on a Rodgers led team. No, no, yeah. you got you, you got to put up more than nine because yeah. Aaron Rodgers can put the team on his back yep. and carry the team and whoop the whoop the whoop whoop the whoop uh, until he can't. Yeah, until he can't. Yeah, we gonna we gonna skip around in this order real quick, huh? Okay. But uh, we gonna go straight to ring the bell. Oh, we gonna go straight to ring straight the bell. Straight to ring the bell this week, huh? Say man. And we got Bob Hayes right now. Bullet. See, that go another nickname. Yeah, he earned it. He also it. Done had Mount Matumbo. Yeah. We had Charlie. All, all these guys, man, they did something special, man. And the bullet Bob Hayes was a different athlete, man. You know, yeah. I know this is football, but it's hard to talk about Bob Hayes not talk about track and field. Yeah, also. no doubt. No doubt. And that's, and that's why he's got his, that's why we got And uh, Bob Hayes, um. Uh, Actually, see some different strange things about Bob Hayes in his career. Because, I mean, we're well, not, not, not strange, but a little different. It was his rookie year with the Dallas Cowboys, which was 1965, that he graduated from Florida A&M. Yeah. But the Cowboys uh, drafted Bob Hayes in uh, 1964 because they had uh, – uh, had their provisional draft because Dallas was a new team and they drafted Bob Hayes in 64 and, and maintained his rights until he came out of college. And then when he came out of college and uh, they signed him in 1965. But in the meantime, in 1964, he missed part of his senior year playing football at Florida a and because he was at the 1964 Olympics winning the 100 meters. And to this day, Bob Hayes is the only person that has a gold medal and a Super Bowl ring. Bob Hayes. Now, people say Michael Carter. Michael Carter of the San Francisco 49ers has a silver medal in the shot put and two, two or three Super Bowl rings. Two, or, two of them for sure. But anyway, we're talking about Bob Hayes. And that's what separates Bob Hayes from a lot of people. Bob Hayes is the only one, like I said, that's got the Super Bowl ring and the gold medal. And Bob Hayes, when the Cowboys drafted Bob Hayes in 1965, he was a 12th round draft choice. They, they, uh, well, they drafted him in 64, but they drafted him in such a late round because they knew he was going to have him next year. And in, and in that 64 draft, the Cowboys actually got Mel Renfro, Bob Hayes, and Roger Starback. And when Bob Hayes went to the Cowboys in 1965, Bob Hayes had 41, no, 46 catches and 1,003 yards. So you do the math. He averaged almost 21 yards of per reception his rookie year. And for his career, he averaged 20 yards even. And it's only four receivers in the history of the NFL that has averaged 20 yards or more for their career that qualifies with enough catches. And Bob Hayes right now, Bob Hayes still has 22 Dallas Cowboy team records. He has uh, he has 10 uh, receiving records right now, and he has four punt return records and, 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 and uh, various other records. But his total records that he still have with the Dallas Cowboys is 22 team records to this day that Bob Hayes still have. And uh, he his uh, total touchdowns for his career is 71. And, and, you know, back then, it wasn't a throwing league. It was more of a running league. And, you know, they have 71 touchdowns, average 20 yards per catch back in 1960s. And that was very uh, rare. And, you know, Bob Hayes uh, did a lot of stuff. And, like I say, he, he, he got 22 team records right now. And uh, he's the only person that got the got the gold medal and the uh, uh, Super Bowl ring. I mean, you know, he did so much in football and track and field, but the but the but the football accomplishments he actually got a Super Bowl with the Dallas Cowboys in 1972. And actually, Bob Hay was on his way to a lot more yards and a lot more touchdowns. But the Dallas Cowboys changed quarterbacks, and the next quarterback, his first quarterback was Don Murray, and his next quarterback. Uh, was uh, Craig Martin, and then after that, uh, Roger Starback. 
And actually, when when you see the Cowboys change from Don Murders to those other quarterbacks, you can see Bob Hayes' statistics started to drop. And it and it had something to oh, do. So quarterback matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quarterback matters. <laughs> and uh I mean, and it and, and you know, Don Murders is not a better quarterback, quarterback than Roger Staubach, but he probably threw deep more. Yeah. You know, so, so that that, that made a difference because Bob, because Bob Hayes, Hayes was a deep threat. threat. And, and this, this is this is what, what the people, people need to know. know. There was no zone defense in the NFL, NFL until, until Bob, Bob Hayes. Oh wow. He was that fast. Can nobody they, can't hold yeah. him one on one. Yeah, yeah. They, they 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 invented the zone defense. Okay, you cover him for the last first 15, 20 yards. Then you catch him when he get in his zone. Yeah. Once he get right here, you pick him up because nobody was fast enough to stay with it. They invented zone defense because of Bob Hayes. Wow. That is insane. And we talk about nicknames. Yeah. Everybody know Bob Hayes was a bullet. Bullet Bob bullet Hayes. Bob. That's, that's crazy. That's how fast he was. And Bob Hayes, and you know, that's a, that's some of his football accomplishments. Yeah. Now, in uh, his track and field accomplishments, uh, in 1960, uh, he, he ran 9-2. But the world record was nine uh, was uh nine one. Then in nineteen sixty three. Wow, ten ten two or ten one? I mean nine two in a hundred meters. Oh, hundred meters. Okay, uh, hundred yards. Hundred yards. yards. Sixty yeah. in sixty one, he tied the world record at nine two, and in sixty three, he set the world record at nine one in the hundred yard dash. Wow. So I know I know Tyree Hill been talking about racing no alive. Stop it. He can't do it. Do you think Bullet Bob Hayes actually would have been a good race for Noah Lyles? Absolutely. He would have because this is the – Bob Hayes is the first person – and I talk about all this football stuff, and I got to throw this in. Bob Hayes is the first person that went, that went under six seconds in the 60, 60 meters. And was he Not doing – was he on cinder? Dirt. He was on dirt. Yeah, and then in the Olympics, he ran, he ran 10.06 in lane one on dirt, that's after, and that was right after the, the uh, what's that, 10,000 walk race, all that's in lane one. Wow. So it was so a chopped up surface is so what you're it saying. A, it, was, it was a chopped up surface, and it, and in this and in the semifinals, Bob Hayes is the first person who went, went, went under 10 seconds flat. He went 9-9-1, but they said it was wind dated, and, and they didn't count that, but then in the Finals, he went 10.06 in lane one. There was no preferred lanes like no allowed them getting out lane five. Lane five, lane six, yeah. yeah. Bob Hayes was in lane oh one. Gosh. And then not only that, the day before that, they had been the 10,000 meters. And all so that, that surface was all, soft. All, all in lane one. Sand, like yeah, dirt, dirt. Like, and yeah. Bob Hayes ran 10.06. Yeah. Wow. So, that's and that's crazy. what I just want athletes to know. The human body haven't changed. Just, hey, a, just the training and the facility. And, and you go back and, and look at, and speaking of human body, go back and look at Bob Hayes. That dude was a specimen, man. Oh, absolutely. Triceps huge. He ain't like no track runner because he's so big and bulky. I mean, when he was running track, he was, and I know yeah. it's some Justin Gallon, it's some thick looking dudes. They look like Bob Hayes, though. Yeah. Huh? No, and Bob Hayes wasn't up about 180, 85 pounds. That boy, that was oh, all was muscle. muscle. Oh, yeah. And it wasn't all that weightlifting. Some of that was just God, genetics. Yo. Yeah, that's DNA. insane. So, you know, Bob Hayes was that dude, man, in track and field and football. Yeah. I heard he couldn't catch too good, but he caught enough. I mean, but this is this is the whole thing. All I can say, he still got the – I think somebody tied him. The Cowboy record is 71 touchdowns. Bob Hayes is still either got that or tied for it. Like right. career? Career. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And, and he averaged 20 yards. Per it would have had to who been who? Emmitt Smith? It would have had to be. No, 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 no. Receiving. Oh, receiving. receiving no, no Emmitt Smith got a. Uh, Emmitt Smith is number two behind Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is all time. Yeah, who? Receiving? That, that's for the either. Cowboys? Was it? I think it's Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin? It had to be Michael Irvin. Right? Somebody. But then it still may be Bob Hayes by himself. But yeah, he either got it or he tied with somebody right now. And, and that, it wasn't even a passing league back then. Yeah. It was a running league. That's that's crazy, man. Bob Hayes sound fast in a month. And Bob Hayes, <laughs> and, and uh, even right now on dirt, even in the Olympics. On dirt? That's what's tripping me out. These boys are running on Bob services Hayes, that are giving Bob them some Hayes, put, some bounce back. On the four by one relay, Bob Hayes right now still have the fourth fastest 
four by one anchor league in the history of anchor leagues in the Olympics. What was his split? Uh, uh, eight. God, dog. Woo! Don't make me say it's, it's, it's eight, seven, eight, something oh my like that. Goodness. And number one is Usain Bolt with eight, seven, three. Uh, uh, call uh, Norlal is second. So he's with five one hundredths of a second within Usain Bolt oh, on dirt. On dirt. Oh my goodness. Hey Jay, Usain Bolt is on these tracks with that, the bounce, that back. bounce back and push back. All the equipment, all that. So that's insane. So that's why and, and, I, and, and long spikes. Yeah, and so that's why I always tell athletes, just the training has changed. Yeah, not the man. Human body. That's insane, bro. <laughs> Holy cow, Bob Hayes. Hey, Bob man. Hayes is what that was. <laughs> Shout out to another excellent episode of, of Ring, Ring the, the Bell. Bell. If you haven't checked it, uh, heard of Ring the Bell, know what, if this is your first time tuning in, man, go back. We got Ring the Bells on the NBA season. Did a Ring the Bell last week on Deacon Jones. Uh, yeah. But we NBA, did, we, we got one. Gail yeah, oh, Gail Sayers. We got Rick Barry. We got Bob McAdoo. We got Jerry West. Will uh, Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain. Uh, Bob, uh, what's, uh, what's, the, what's my guy with the Celtics? Uh, uh, Bill Russell. Bill Russell, yeah, yeah Larry yeah, Bird, yeah, Havlicek. And, yeah, John Havlicek. And, man, when you go back and Bill listen, Walton. Yeah, Bill Walton. And when you go back and look at listen to some of those ring the bells, I'm not just being uh, funny or anything or trying to brag. I bet you're going to find out some things about these people that you didn't know. Absolutely. So the, this is the thing about this show right here, man. Like, this is like bridging the gap. You know, I got my ideals and thoughts about sports from 1982 and all. And really, like 1987 and on, when I can actually see what was going on, listen to the radio, yeah, watch television, understand, and understand yeah. what was going yeah, on. So when I come in saying Michael Jordan the GOAT, Unc looking at me sideways and saying, well, nobody's saying Jordan was the GOAT when he came to the league. He Man. could, Unc say uh, Larry Bird was his daddy Hey, in the 80s. Go look at the record. You know what I'm saying? Look, I mean, you know, Eric. You so know that, you know that everybody always said, "Well, Michael gave Michael gave uh, Boston 60. Larry Bird had fifty something in the same game, man. Yeah, Come man. On, man. So, so we here we like to we like to bridge the knowledge gap yeah, on absolutely. sports as well yeah. as have the knowledge yeah. about what's going, what's on, what's going on right now, absolutely. right? You know what I'm saying? So, Unc don't ever let me make it. I'll be like, man, let me make it this time, dog. He the goat. He like, nah, dog. Ain't no, ain't no such, unless you're playing golf or tennis oh, track or, or track and field. Sport, huh? Ain't no golden team sports. You know, that, that's what Unc like to say, but uh, MJ's still a goat, though, uh, in basketball. You know, uh, Unc, Unc got, got me, you know I got a top shelf. It is what and it is. And then I got a next, second shelf, <laughs> third shelf. Mike on, the, Mike on the top shelf with him to go. Oh. <laughs> Mike on the top shelf with him to go. <laughs> I was about to say, I know you were about to say you on the second shelf. on the top shelf, he ain't to go. Yeah, hey. LeBron on top shelf, but he ain't go. You think LeBron on the top shelf? Yeah, LeBron Kareem? on top shelf, yeah. I don't know about that, though. Shh. You only got four championships. You need Man, at least five. You got to go more about championships. You need at least five up there. Well, then ain't that? Well, you better. Hey, it's a, it's a whole lot of people ain't up there. So Robert Orr up there, he got seven. No, he ain't on top shelf. No, he but got, he ain't a top shelf guy. Yeah, but he I mean, got yeah. seven. But I'm yeah, saying, yeah, if no. we talking top shelf guys on, with championships. on top shelf. Got to have When you're the all-time leading scorer, seven. Nah, I'm just playing, bro. Uh, uh, yeah, I know you're playing. You got me. <laughs> LeBron on top shelf. Bro, my dude, man. Yeah, I, I love LeBron. I love LeBron. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to keep this thing rolling. Keep this party going, man. But good bag and the ugly for this week. Huh? What you got, man? Say, what's your man, good? I got something good, man. What's your good? Say, man. I've been, I've been, I've been going in on this dude. Yeah, I've been laughing at him. I've been dragging him like through the mud. Yeah, who's that? Nazi Smith. Ooh, ooh, a twist. Say, man, a twist. Did you see Nazi Smith make three tackles behind the line of scrimmage the other night? He against the Giants. Against the Giants. Look, go look at the tape. Well, showed up number fifty-eight. Yeah, and guess what? Uh, what is that? Uh, pro football focus or PPF or whatever yeah. they grade everybody. Yeah, Nazi Smith got an eighty something man. What? So Ta- I was like, what? I was, I was like, by time that you show that you belong hey, in the NFL, you supposed to do the Giants and, like that, saying you did it. So that's that's and, hey, that's progress. And, and then may, first you got to do anybody like that. I'm just that's saying, at least the Giants. I mean, that's and, progress. Hey, first, that's his first time doing it to anybody. So that's progress. <laughs> Yeah. So, so Najee Smith, man, shout out to you, man. Shout and out, Najee. And this is what I hope that was. I hope that was a spark that that started your fire, cause we gonna need your fire yeah. with these guys gone. And fire I hope that that's what that is. Here. But that was the good. 
That was that was a good one. Nadja Smith, man. What's that fire and desire? That song go yeah. hard, man. Yeah. Hey, we need that fire and yeah, desire about you right now. We, we need that. So Nazi, that was a good. One. What was your bad, huh? What was your bad? My bad was Buffalo, man. Oh, man, Buffalo had been looking good. I'm bragging on Josh Allen. Yeah. Oh, Buffalo, three and oh, Josh Allen got seven touchdowns, no interception. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Shit, Buffalo got drunk. Yeah. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they yes, got they drunk. Did. They got drunk, man, and they look like. Drug. They look like they didn't. They look like Dallas. Yeah. They look like they know what the hell going on on the field. Hey. hey they did. They man. got hit with that shocker. They got hit with that shot. Sometimes when I see play, teams playing like that, I feel like they're not trying to show too much for later on in the season. But I'm just saying, you better win. But you better win early in the season. It's a confidence win thing. Can, win as much as you can when you can. That psyche so, is real. Cause why you worry, on both sides. Yeah, cause why you worry about later? By the time later come, all these people believe they can beat you now. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's psyche on both sides. Is yeah, real. absolutely. You know, that, so, that, so that man. was uh that was that was ugly, man. Yeah. Buffalo. I'm talking about offense. I mean, the the, the bad. Buffalo played bad on offense. Mm -hmm. They played bad on defense. Josh Allen played bad. Yeah, he did. And Josh we've seen Allen, him play worse, though. We've seen know, him play yeah. ugly and in the past. At least he didn't throw four know, interceptions. To turn over. <laughs> yeah. But he just didn't play like the Josh Allen. I had seen it three weeks. He didn't get up for the game like he thought he would. Yeah, he, he really did. What up, Joey Page? It hurts so much watching the Cowboys losing. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Join the crowd. Join hey, the crowd. it's going to hurt the rest of the season. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey, gone for the next four years, just jump on board yeah, with us, hey, man. You hey, know, we Kansas like City say, around here, Dallas, man, Texans. I hope you got your ad bill or uh, a leave or whatever. The number. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hope you got your a leave or ad bill or whatever. Cause if it hurt, you're going to need some painkillers. Hey, you're going to need that. <laughs> hey, you might have to get that. Uh, You might have to the doctor go get that Tylenol 500. <laughs> Six, <laughs> seven wins. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> We take this opportunity right now. We can go. We can. We can wait till game eight to go get Aaron Donald. But it, we need to go get Hassan Reddick. It will be my number one choice. You better go get some. Uh, or Jadavian Clowney, my yeah. number two choice. Oh, yeah. We need to go get one they of those need to go guys. Get both of them right now, really. Yeah, yeah. If they get them both, I don't know if they can afford them both. Right. But if we can get them both, that'd be excellent. Jerry worth ten billion, so in just the Cowboys. But anyway, the ugly. Yeah. What's the ugly? Huh? What's your ugly? Ah, the ugly is a foot race that. <laughs> The ugliest foot race. <laughs> the ugliest foot race I ever seen in my life in the NFL was Derrick Henry trying to run any off, and the other guy's too slow to catch him. And he pulling off. And he's slow and they slower. Oh my God. <laughs> God. I was I'm like, saying, those are I'm DBs. I know they're going to catch him. And hey, he was hey, pulling man. off on him. Man. In a football field, you think it's big, but in real life, it's that long. Hey. If somebody hey. Get, get, get out there on you. Derrick Henry. I could read it when they showed the close up when he was running with his head back. Yeah. He was saying, I'm too tired. I hope they catch me. <laughs> so I would have to run this far. But they was running behind him saying, they head back. I'm too slow. Yeah. I wish he fall. <laughs> I won't have to chase him. You read their lips on the jumbo truck. Yeah, I, I read their looks. Yeah. No, their looks on their face. Uh, Derrick Henry wanted uh. somebody to catch him. But they was too slow. To couldn't do it. That was the ugliest foot race I ever seen in and, my and life. And meanwhile, I'm watching like, dang, Derrick Henry look fast. But then when you went back and watched it. I know second, better, huh? Yeah. But when you went back and watched it the second time, yeah. you was like, no, they just real slow. slow. Yeah, I can't believe I saw them <laughs> DBs in Buffalo. DeMar man. Hamlin and what's that? I think Could his name? not, yeah. Hamlin, the one that, hey, and the other guy. Man, those guys were slow as a turtle. <laughs> Appreciate you, Joe K. Hey. Joey said it's hella funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say it, man. Uh, Jerry, don't, Jerry don't know what we're doing, LOL. I do need the ibuprofen. Yeah, man. You need uh, more than ibuprofen, hey, dog. Say, man, like I said, you, you might find some Oxycontin, some no, fentanyl. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't go that far. No, no, just go get the ibuprofen from 800 milligrams. That hey, them boys drive you crazy, dog. Hey, hey, hey it's hey, bad too it's right bad. now. Man. You need a lot of pain pills for what the cow wants. <laughs> yeah. hey, now that's my good and the bad and ugly. Hey, hey. Yeah, so my good man is Lamar Jackson, up. He finally. I don't want to hear no more Lamar Jackson and Dak comparisons because there is no comparison. Hey. Please, hey. there's no comparison other than the oh, playoff no, no results. Until it comes to the playoffs, ain't no comparison between the quarterback play. 
The quarterback play is what separates no, oh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We ain't going to go Now, if we talk straight analytics, we can go analytical and look at the analytics. But I'm a I'm a, I'm an athlete myself, so I hate oh, analytics. Man. You know, I produce numbers, but don't let the numbers define me. No, no. Analyt- an- analytics can't uh, speak on clutch numbers. Can't talk on big games. No. You know? Oh, no. But uh, or big big game players, big time players, analytics can't do that. No, but uh, you know, Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry, I will say both of them, because in the first two games, people were talking smack about Derrick too, talking about oh he washed up. Oh, uh, Baltimore ain't nearly the, what we thought they'd be running that football. That running attack don't look too uh too threatening to anybody. Till they came to Dallas, got a little confidence after that win. Yeah. Went to Buffalo. Blew them boys out, you know. Like Baltimore looks ready to rock at this point. If they can stay healthy, they look really good. That defense is playing well together. Kyle Van, Van, Van Noy was got that on in the uh, analyst booth for a few games. Oh yeah, like he he was done when he left uh, New England, right? Right. The boy came back with a vengeance. You know, up there balling in Baltimore right now. I think he played somewhere else in between the two. I can't think of where it was. But but the, the kids balling, man, looking really good on that defensive side of the ball. And of course, we know about Kyle Hamilton. We know about 44. We know about Roquan Smith. We know about several of the guys on the defensive end. But when Mark Andrews gets right, Buffalo's going to be tough to stop. I mean, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Baltimore's going to be tough to stop, man. Oh, yeah. They're going to be real tough to stop. Real tough to stop. So that's my good. Uh, my bad. The Philadelphia Eagles, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, mimicking the Cowboys. Don't want anybody to win the East. They don't want anybody. Uh, Cowboys and the Eagles are like, here, Washington, take it. Take it from us. We don't want it. Take it. And primarily the Eagles because they made so many offseason moves. And they still looking like they having locker room issues. Like they don't get along, right? Why I say Washington's going to win this is because they <laughs> – like Michael Irvin said, they look like they're having fun and they're winning. And that only gets scarier when you got a team that likes each other, looks like they're having fun, and they're winning. They're all on the Jaden Daniels train. Meanwhile, Philadelphia and Dallas are reeling right now trying to figure out what is going on. Philadelphia, the difference between Philadelphia and Dallas, they got the personnel. They got personnel that can turn it around. I don't think Dallas does. At this point, especially with Micah no, no, and, and D. No, Law out, no, no, yeah, Philadelphia got the personnel, but the Cowboys the not the so Cowboys much. Don't have the personnel, not though. so much. So that's my bad and my ugly. It's Dallas Cowboys offense. It's just bad. Hey, Auntie Pam, how you doing? Them snacks look good. Thank you, <laughs> Auntie Pam. Go hard, huh? Yeah, that's my wife. Hey, man. she go hard. That's why why she's my wife. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. I love it. But nah, man, my ugly, man. What did I just say? Uh, uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, Philadelphia. Was that my bad or my ugly? Oh, that's your that, that was your ugly. That's my, yeah, Philly, Philly, yeah, man. Y'all got to, y'all got to figure it out, man. I need y'all to go on and, uh, Y'all just need to start winning some games so the Cowboys can stop trying to win and get some good draft stock. Hey. <laughs> Let's go on and throw this season, Cowboys. You know, but nah, Philly, y'all got to figure it out. A.J. Brown was out this past week. I understand that. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, he's on my fantasy team. I hated it too. But um, shouldn't lose to Tampa Bay. Yeah, of course, Tampa Bay still got some residue left from that Super Bowl when Tom Brady was oh, here. And then, and, and, and then it's a different team, end. though. Before Tom Brady got there, Tom Bay had the number one uh, defense and two thousand yards receiving. Yeah, they all went in the, and, and uh, uh, Evans, Evans, yeah, with an A. <laughs> and you know, a whole lot of times, you know, when we talk about, you know, just like the other day we was talking about our, our receivers, and somebody said in the comments said, you know, because I named a lot of receivers, and then somebody said I take Mike Evans. And you know, when I talk about all these other guys, Tyreek Hill, Jamar Chase, and, uh, Metcalf, and all that, I. Uh, even Tyree Hill, uh, 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 not born down City Lamb. I don't even put them in the category with Mike Evans. Hey, because Mike Evans has done this for 10, 11 years. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, he's so on, he's Mike Evans is some of these guys still, they still trying to. Uh, you guaranteed a thousand yards out of Mike yeah, Evans, basically. Yeah, 
they they still trying to go for their pick and all yeah. that. And Mike Evans is on a different level. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. Once you do something for 10 years, paid. please don't talk talk about me in the same breath somebody did it three. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Hey, it's boy uh, Chaz Douche, man. Dutch. D- hope I said it. Is it Douche or Dutch? Chaz Douche, I think. Uh, says Eagles are poop salad. Yes, they are poop salad. Yeah. Complete poop salad. And then Tripp say uh, the rookie don't got tape on him. Week 10, it turns bad. I don't know, man. Just because of the poison I'm seeing this kid play with. And I do understand that point you got. Right? And, and Oh, Tripp, you got a great point. It would, get, it would get bad way before week 10. You know? No, it way be, before week 10. Get by six or seven. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the second yeah. quarter. You know, game five, six, seven. Yeah. This is what we're going to say. This. They got four uh, games on them. They see what the Washington likes to do with them. Yeah, they're going to make an adjustment. I'm going to say this. He's and just been point, so, it seems like he hadn't been had any trouble with anything at this yeah. point. Like, and no the, trouble. And, and the quarterback is not going to be the problem with Washington. Yeah. It's going to be Dan Quinn. That's just my opinion. Oh, no. Hey, Gary Hayes, pass, bro. And, and, and pause on that, dog. So, I, I can't, can't even say that out loud, but y'all can read it if you watch it. What is that? Uh, 18 bat, uh, easy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Huh. My boy 18 bat just responded uh, responded to my boy Gary Hayes right here. That's funny, dog. Hey, dog, we passing over here, dog. Easily, there's no question. Pause on the whole situation right now. Switch the subject. I ain't even trying to go there, but uh, we're going to keep this thing moving. Uh, moving along. Oh, it was Noonish football, fantasy football week. The league, man, hey, got that dub. You know, I gave number one Yazerski their first loss of the season. And I put up, I think, a season high score, 289 or something like that. I ain't got it in front of me right now. But uh, well, let me see. I can't I can't see. I can't see that far. Pardon me. I can't see that far. Let me see real quick. Let me let me check out these scores. But yeah, man, so trip to go. Goo punch is and, and, and goo punch, goo punch going hard right now. Hey, man, but if punch running this thing, look like yeah, man. So we have two of our top subscribers. Subscribers, yeah, man. Uh, our, our top member, uh, uh, Trip the Ghost. You know what I'm saying? In the building right now. So they joined us in the fantasy football league this year, man. So we like more interactive experiences like that. You know what I'm saying? This is an IX over here. This is an interactive experience around here. You know, so. Uh, we definitely want to interact with 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 our, our subscribers and everybody watching the show. I can pull it up on this phone right here, actually. Y'all, y'all, uh, it's all good. I'm about to switch the background up real quick so I can pull up this week's noonish. Uh, pay me no mind as I do this for the next yeah, few I, seconds. I, I, no, I, I tell y'all all the time that J.A. is a producer, the director, the star of the show. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm just along for the ride. Hey, you Unk just... is the guru. I know you saw the commercial. If you didn't, we'll play it in a minute. Don't worry. You will see what it is. But uh, currently, uh, this past, so Yazerski still in first place, now three and one, uh, tied with Miss Christiana Yebra uh, for first place. And we have a, a, a four-way tie first place. Fat-ass losers Jonas Bull, who I beat last week or a couple weeks ago, uh, is in third place at three and one. And, and Mr. Punch is at three and one as well. Uh, they're all tied for fourth. Uh, right behind them tied is for first. Or tied for first. I'm sorry. Yeah. So Four you know, tied for first. And uh, Lewis Hammer time, Miss Christiana Yeah, but that's our previous uh, f- uh, fantasy football winner. Uh, if you haven't watched, that's our first lady of F1. But she's also you know the uh, CMO of a analytics company. If you watch uh, MLB baseball at uh, on Friday nights on Apple TV. Uh, you'll see the analytics that come up on that. Uh, that is the organization and the company that Christiana is the chief marketing officer for. So when it comes to these analytics, it's real over there. You know, they also oh, do NASCAR, the NBA. Oh, yeah. You know, they got several yeah. contracts in professional sports. And she knows her shiznit. Okay, so she won fantasy football last year. I don't, I don't even care. She beat me, man, like three times last year. Pissed me off. But coming for your head, Christiana, you the one I'm gumming for. I already beat Yazerski right now. And then uh, we got fat ass losers and goo and, and goo punch man three and one like he took his first L this week. Goo punch, you ain't supposed to be losing, bro. What happened, dog? Back to the future. That's Donnie Boaz, uh, uh, formerly Chance Chance to the fourth on Young and the Restless. Uh, we got Jung Gang Trip, uh, Trip I Lie. That's my boy Trip, man. If you see him right here, oh he was Trip the Ghost. He, he, he was he's one, here. Uh, Boaz was a. Uh... 
Chance Chance of the Fourth on Young and the Wrestlers. Oh, I didn't know Ch- uh, Chancellor. That, uh... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's that Debo. He, on... well, he was there for a year, by, about a year. He was on Dallas or something else. Yeah, he's been on Dallas, man. He's been on Great Debaters. I mean, several movies. Uh, Mile American on Netflix. Donnie's been on several oh. movies. He's got like over 100 credits right now on oh, IMDb. Okay, okay. Uh, so that's my, that's my, that's one of my best friends in life, man. That's my brother, man. So my son's uncle. So, uh, yeah, that's he he's in the league with us, man. Then we got Jung Gang Trip, another one of our that is our number one member. Like just straight up, that is what it is. If you want his spot, go on and get that membership. Go on and start interacting, talking your ish when you're watching and tuning in with us, man. We have a good time. Watch parties every Wednesday around noon. We getting it in. Uh, Speed kills. Ray Edwards, former Olympian on the USA track team. Uh, relay team. Uh, I believe they won a gold in the world championships or something, I believe, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, you know, he went to the Olympics as well, participated as a as a relay guy for the U.S. and also I think he ran for Nigeria. And then uh, my boy, my aunt, right here. Nigeria? Yeah. Ray? Yeah. I'm not talking Ray, but what are you doing running for Nigeria? Same reason why you know people do that. Same reason why the, the, yeah, the, the know, pole vaulter up in Sweden was pole vaulting, and he graduated from LSU and grew up in Louisiana. So, like, oh no, I know, I'm just yeah. I'm just and, I'm and just then playing. we got Unc, you know, Unc at the bottom, man. Unc ain't even cared oh, by the no. squad. Hey, Unc in the league, so y'all got to have somebody to beat. Yeah, yeah. Man, I <laughs> we got Mark Clayton in the league too, former OUI receiver in Baltimore Raven. That's our that's our homie. He on the show. He started a show with us, man. That's my bro, man. Oh, and he'll yeah. be on. We're gonna find times to make mark when when time it, it matches up, you know. Yeah, when it, when, it, when this time matches our time. Yeah, we're gonna get it on. in. We're gonna get it in, man. Oh, yeah. But uh, but yeah, man, that's it for the newest fantasy football league update. Got that dub this week. Let's go. I'm like them cowboys two and two, but I'm better. That's all I'm saying. I got promise on my squad. I don't know about them boys. But uh here goes the rundown, huh? Who you got this week? Predictions. Hey, if y'all haven't already, man, go over to Bet US. Check out this QR code right here. Check out the link, man. You'll see the Bet US link on our uh, on our page. Click that scan bad boy on the scan, man. Use our code right here, man. Uh, so it, you know, you get a little discount. You know, things are cool with us. You get a little more money when you play with us. You know what I mean yeah, for the free. Really. So um, these are our week five predictions. Last week went pretty well. You know, for myself, I don't know about you, but I did pretty good. But um, who you got? We got this uh, these hot takes real quick. Rapid fire, what's good? Tampa Bay, Atlanta Falcons. Who you got up? Tampa Bay, Atlanta Falcons. I'm gonna go Tampa Bay. All right, all right. I got uh, oh, I got Tampa. I got them Baker Mayfields, man. Atlanta got to do a little more to prove you know, to they me. They got them Kirk Cousins over there, Tampa. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They looking good too. They look good too. But them Baker yeah, Mayfields, man, I'm try and true. I'm, I'm going Baker. Baker cocky, man. He want to beat the old dude. He want to beat the old buck. And we got Miami versus New England. What you who you got up? I got New England. All right, I got uh Miami. Oh, Miami dang. looking terrible, man. Yeah, New England been terrible yeah. for a few years. Uh, Raiders versus the Broncos. I got the Broncos. Raiders looking terrible too. I got Broncos as well. Cowboys versus the Steelers. Who you got? Huh? <laughs> Is that what you mean, though? I, you, I got you, the Cowboys. You, you putting got... money on the Cowboys? No, huh? I ain't putting no money on them. Right, this 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 the bet U.S. right here. Who you no. got? Oh, if it's bad, you yeah. This is hey, the bad U.S. A, uh, hey. <laughs> we we want the people to to go oh, and take our picks. I had to bet. I'm betting on the Steelers. But yeah, I'll pick the Cowboys. Just this, this quick pick. I ain't got no money on line. Put your money on the Steelers. What he said. That's what I'm going with as yeah, well. Put your money on the Steelers, but put your heart on the Cowboys. Yeah, man. I can't. Then we got the Jets and the Vikings playing over in England this weekend. Early game on Sunday. I'm I love it. with the Vikings. The Sam Donald again. Man, the man. The Jets look. They was almost my ugly this week. The Jets? I mean, yeah, it was Jets bad was now. All, that was ugly. It was bad now. That was, that now. was fast, bad. That yeah, was, that, was, that was very that ugly. Was ugly yeah. yeah, like you say, Aaron Rodgers ain't supposed to score nine points. And then we got the Browns and the, and the uh, Commanders. I almost said the other team. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the Commanders. Man. I'm going I with the Commanders, too. Browns, Browns playing bad, too. Hey, Commanders got offense. Yeah. All right, so they're going to score points. That's what I do know. Uh, then we have San Francisco and the Cardinals. Who you got, on? San Francisco. I got the Cardinals in this one, though. No? Yeah, San Francisco, yeah. They they just they got Debo back, but they still missing some key players on the squad right now. Yeah, they won. Yeah, they're gonna get the Cardinals. The Cardinals look terrible. I mean, the Cardinals, the Cardinals, the Cardinals. That's why I'm picking against the Cardinals. Cardinals. Uh, Kyler Murray, man, is all I'm saying. Nah, like, I, that kid, I, I, that kid yeah, and Marvin though. Harrison Jr. I mean, he got they two and two right now. They solid. They ain't they ain't bad. They got the same regular San Francisco. Yeah. 
A lot you know? of them, some things have just go, you take the call. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got the Saints and the Chiefs. The Chiefs, shit. Yeah, yeah I'm, with, I'm with the Chiefs too, man. Yeah. I'm with the Chiefs too. Saints might, I don't, I, I'm with Saints the Chiefs. Saints ain't did shit since Dallas. Yeah. They, yeah, they two and two as well now, yeah. right? Yeah, and they finna be three and two and four and two. Uh, and two, two, <laughs> two, or two and three, two, two and four. They're gonna on that two. They're gonna stay on that two watch for it. a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we got the uh, the Panthers and the Bears. Andy Dalton got him another. Did he get another win this week? Yeah, uh, I know Bears. he played well. No, Andy uh, Dalton with the uh, yeah. Panthers. I'm taking the Panthers, man. The Bears. I'm taking the Panthers, man. Well, I, I gotta take the Bears because the Bears actually had a decent win this weekend. I didn't. I didn't think they were gonna win that game. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm taking the Panthers. Okay, I'm taking the Bears. I think that I think the Bears defense is better than the the uh, Panthers, and uh, it's just the Panthers. Yeah. Ain't, ain't nothing really to say about them. I just yeah. don't believe in them. I don't trust. I don't them believe all. in the Bears. Either. And I don't believe in Andy Dalton. Like Andy yeah, Dalton was here. Like, he I ain't got nothing to pick. I mean, you know. Andy Dalton ain't much. Yeah. Like what Tom Brady proved is a quarterback can play until they're forty. So these guys are really trying to stretch it. Matthew Stafford, yeah. Andy Dalton, like it's crazy. First. Time. Uh, I don't think Andy Dalton's First that old. They ain't Tom Brady. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah. They are not. <laughs> yeah, who the Bears play last week? That's that's. It was a West Coast team, and I I thought they were gonna lose that game. They played the Rams and they won twenty eight to eighteen. Who was that? Uh, the Bears. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Rams were part of the two. Yeah, yeah. That that, that could have been part of the, the ugly as well. Jacksonville could be part of the ugly, but they played the Colts this week. Joe Flacco and the Colts. Who you got? Coast play who? The Jaguars. I got Coast. I got Flacco. Man, I got to take Jacksonville just because they do for a win, you know, and they beat the Coast, I think, twice I'm last just, year. But that, yeah, those are always but, tough but games for Jacksonville. Flacco. They have Flacco. Joe Flacco. Yeah, Joe Flacco is an old pro veteran. Hey, Super Bowl winner. He don't get too rattled. Hey, you know, all that that's stuff. That's one of them shit. Bradys we talking about. Yeah, he, he, just, know, he, he, just, he just keep picking away, picking yeah. away. That boy Joe Flacco was on the couch last year. <laughs> Got yeah. a call, made a team, and got a call from another team from yeah, his performance exactly, last yeah. year, man. So Flacco out there doing it, man. And then we got uh Green Bay. Oh my gosh. Who is that? I can't tell who that is. Hold on, I gotta stand up, y'all. Forgive me. Oh, the Rams. Got Green Bay and the Rams right now. The way the Rams got beat by Chicago last week, didn't it? Yeah. I I I almost got good. Oh, Green Bay. Yeah, I got Green Bay. Yeah, I got Green yeah, Bay. Yeah, I got Jordan man. Love back, too. I yeah, he's think. back second week. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, week. yeah. He, because they won last week, week, too. Week. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't Absolutely. know what I'm tripping off of. I had to remember, yeah. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going Green Bay yeah, easy I'm on that Green one. No Bay doubt about day, it. Every day. Yeah, no doubt about it. Then we got the Tennessee Titans versus the Philadelphia Eagles, man. That's a crap shoot. I'm going to go with the Eagles, man. Going with the Eagles? Eagles got better personnel. They do. I'll go with the Eagles as well. That's what I think. Yeah, I think they're going to get back on the right yeah. side of this thing, on the winning category. I think they start to separate themselves from the Cowboys in the next three, four games. We'll see, though. They yeah, seem to we'll be wanting to keep we'll it close. See. I don't know why. Baltimore and the Bengals. Who you got, huh? Oh, I got Baltimore. Baltimore? Yeah. Oh, I think the Bengals are going gonna, gonna to squeak this one out somehow, some way. I'm going to tell you like this. They're struggling right now. If Baltimore lose, Baltimore's in trouble. Bengals and Baltimore have had some, you know, some games just about matchups and coaching. You two and three. Yeah, I, well, yeah. You you ain't looking for no, I mean, when I say in trouble, you ain't looking for no 13, 13, 12, 13, 12 win. You, you're going down to Dallas, now you're going for 10 or 11. Yeah, I'm putting, my, I'm putting my I, money. I mean, not in trouble, trouble, but they are not, They ain't, if they lose to Cincinnati, they ain't on no road to no Super Bowl. Yeah, I definitely, right I got to put my money on Baltimore. I yeah. got to, I got to, yeah. I got to do, I got to put my money on Baltimore. Yeah. I know my mind, my mind's telling me no, but my money, you know what I'm yeah. saying? My money yeah. telling me Baltimore. Hey, yeah, my money. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to bet money, I'm going to yeah. Baltimore. God. That's all I'm saying. And yeah. then uh, who we got next? We got <laughs> Buffalo and the Texans. That's going to be a good game. I'm going to go with Buffalo. I don't think they're going to lay two eggs. Yep. I mean, two it ain't even an egg, but because the Texans ain't no joke. But uh, got T.J. Stroud, but I just think Josh Allen, man, Josh Allen, good man. They playing in Houston. I don't care. I'm taking the Texans, man. I'm taking. Buffalo. And you know, I ain't no Houston cat like that. Yeah, I'm taking Buffalo. But I, I believe in C.J. Stroud and their leader, and I don't think Houston's gonna lose two in a row. No. So I'm taking Houston in that one. Yeah, yeah, and I think Buffalo has really got overall. Oh, what's the name in the Houston name? Joe Mixon? No, D. D. Absolutely. Oh! 
Yeah, yeah Diggs. I'm taking both. You know Diggs want to show no, out now. Both Josh Allen want to show out. It's proof he don't need you. I'm you, taking you think so? Ooh. Yeah, yeah Josh Charlotte want to show he don't need you. Hey, let's go. And hey, I'm going to say it like this. That. If it comes between Josh Allen and Diggs, I'm going to take Josh Allen. Cause Diggs I'm gonna take Diggs, them, man. Hey, cause Diggs dropped them three or four balls. Josh Allen hey, right Josh, damn Josh Allen got a lot more turnovers than Diggs. Hey, <laughs> that's hey, all I'm trying to say. Hey, that's all I'm saying. Diggs I'm dropped saying two three that. touchdowns right in his hand. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he, yeah, Diggs, Diggs will hey, he will hey, pass but, the thing along. But there's man. one thing that you got him that you gonna know. Josh Allen gonna go thirty, gonna throw 30, 30, 35 touchdowns. I don't give a damn who's driving. Yeah, you right. You he right. Go 30, 35. You right. During the year. What up, yeah. what up, Sam King? Yeah, we know Andy Dalton is good, bro, but he was here in Dallas. Yeah, Andy and Dalton. I, I think he was just here collecting a check. I don't really think he was working at his craft. I think he was on vacation. You know well, what I'm well, saying? Andy Dalton. Because he didn't do much for us. Like I said, Andy Dalton is solid. Yeah. And uh, he's a great career backup. Buddy. Yeah. He's a great career backup. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. Yeah, that's TCU boy, man. Yeah. You know, he's he, he, like he DFW cat for right here, man. fact that he's going to really, you know, be a driving force. No. Oh. Uh, you say we lost a signal. Uh, we good, Trip? You say we lost a signal. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I don't know. We are we there? Let me see. Let's see. Uh, say we lost a signal. Say something, Trip. See if you still. And it looked like still. we lost a signal. Oh God! All right, we back. We back. We good. Okay. We okay. rocking. Okay. We rocking. Let me make sure. Yeah, we rocking. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened. Appreciate it, Trip, man. Yeah, that's, appreciate that, that's man. That's why you're our number one guy, Trip. Yeah, Trip say we just came back on, man. How long oh, we appreciate off? you, Alejandro Brown. Yes, sir. Yeah. I don't know what happened, man, but oh, no. it's all good. We back. I hope we weren't gone too long. Hey, what was the last game that y'all saw us talk about? Were we, were we still on the uh, the Texans and the Bills? What game? What, what was the last game y'all heard us call? We just called the Texans and the Bills, man. Anyway, we're going to keep rocking, man. Looks like it's a, a battle. Let me see who we got. I can't see who we got. All right, we got the the Giants and the Seahawks next I'm week. The Seahawks. I got Seahawks all day. Yeah. Oh, Houston was the last game. All right, cool. Appreciate you, Alejandro. Buffalo, Houston, yeah, appreciate that trip. Yeah, so appreciate we you, bro. Much on while we were oh yeah, oh yeah. And then uh, last game, uh, we got the Chargers and the Lions. Ooh, wee. I'm okay. taking Lions. You taking Lions? Yes, sir. I'm gonna take the Chargers. I, I like Dan Campbell and I like the Char and I like the uh, uh, Lions. I like Jim Harbaugh. I take Dan Campbell. Period. Bro. Jim Harbaugh, college coach. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I was about to say he went to the Super Bowl. All right, with all right. Colin Kaepernick. You know what I'm saying? Oh, James yeah. Harrison got that touchdown up the sideline against. Oh. Now that was against the Cardinals. Oh. Uh, but yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Took, he went to the Super yeah. Bowl though. And you see when James Harrison ran for that touchdown? Did you see who couldn't catch him? Who? Larry Fitzgerald. Oh yeah, yeah. That's kind of like Aaron Donald beating Lashawn McCoy. I'm glad he did it too. Lashawn talking all that smack, boy. Chill out. Oh, Shady. Oh, Shady. Oh, Shady McCoy, get on my neck. Oh, Shady McCoy. He got a good nickname. Shady mean more than football. Yeah. Shady means Abs shady. Absolutely. Because his comments is shady. Yeah. What are you talking about? They suspect. They, 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 they. Moving on. WNBA playoffs, man. It's going down right now. No Clayton and Clark, but, you know, I, I still see people in the arena. I don't know. I haven't seen the top level of the arena, but there's still yeah. people in there watching these games right now, as they should be, because there's some talented young women in there balling right now. Um, and the New York Liberty... And the uh, Las Vegas Aces, I think that might be the most watched series right now in the playoffs left. I mean, without, you know, w once Caitlin Clark exited the playoffs, um, it was evident. Her impact was evident. I'll say that much. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. So, uh, but now we've got Aja Wilson, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, she's playing against Brianna Stewart and, you know, it's some studs on both teams now. We got oh. Plum, Kelsey uh, Plum, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, on, on Vegas. Uh, Anytime the you advance, most of the time you got a better team than the team, than the other team. Yeah. You, know, you can have one or two good players, but if somebody got, got they can match your know, two or three top best players, then they got three or four more, and you got one or two, they're going to beat you. Yeah, and Liberty's got the most star power, I want to say. Oh, yeah. Right? So. But, uh, 
I don't know at the same time because Isaiah Wilson's won two MVPs in a row, right? And right now, New York's up in the series two to none. And, you know, I know that Vegas has won two championships in a row, but it's going to be real tough for them to get out of this series right now. Yeah, you're down two to zero. And they, in a five-game series, like, that is not <laughs> what you want. Five-game you know? series, man. That's almost like being down three to oh in a seven-game series. Yeah. Absolutely. They lost by four uh, to the Aces. You know, they got Ionescu on the on the Liberty as well. Uh, looks like she went off in the last game as well, you know. Um, looks like uh, Aja did what she does in the last game at 24 points, seven boards, four, four assists. You know, there's four people on that team on, on Vegas with in, in, in double digits, right? And what you say, the, the team with the most people in double digits typically wins. Is that yeah. is that what you say? Yeah, well... Uh, yeah, well, New York had four in double digits as well, but it was a close game. It was 88-84. Yeah, yeah. 80, right? Hey, and and INS went off for 24 points. Somebody had two or four more than the highest one. Yeah. I mean, usually, you know, that's uh, one well, of her, my Well, her and Aja, uh, INS school basically canceled Aja out with 24 points. Yeah. And then uh, Young for Vegas had 17, and she was the second. Actually... Ooh, this time it didn't work out for you, huh? Because they had more double-digit people on Vegas than New York. Oh, okay. I'm in New York. They had yeah, more, yeah. right? Uh, New York has five, one on the bench, oh, right? Okay. And then uh, three of the starters for New York, you know, Breonna Stewart. But uh, usually, go to it. That's just, I mean, Jacquel that's Jones, one of my go-to, to go-to deals yeah. when I see who won the game. Yeah. I go there, and most of the time, I mean, every now and then, and if it's not, and if it's uh, like like one of those people that have 12 or 14 points more than your highest yeah. score. Yeah, well, this was very similar. The difference here was the number of goose eggs on the bench. So uh, the Aces had two ladies with zero points, and New York had one lady with zero points on the bench. See, those, those twos and fours. Yeah, that stuff matters. Your, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that stuff matters. A close game. That stuff matters. You know, down the, and that goes to what? The more better person there. Your bottom guys got two. Your bottom guys got zero. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So that means your bottom guy is two points better than my bottom guy. And then on the, the Minnesota on, on the Minnesota Leaks and uh, Connecticut side, they got a 1-1 series going on right now. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought the Minnesota Lynx was going to do very well this season. I can see them going to the finals easily. But the Connecticut Sun, they playing really good basketball right now. Oh, they yeah. took the loss last night. Right, they got the first win, but this is gonna be a good series right here, you know, because I've been watching Connecticut here recently, and they can ball, you know, they yeah. put they put yeah. Caitlin there, right? Yeah. So I mean, they 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 can go, and they got some girls that were in the Olympics that can play, you know, uh, Alyssa Thompson, I believe that's her, I believe that's her name, yeah, Alyssa Thompson, she goes, oh yeah, right, yeah, Alyssa Thompson, then, yeah, yeah, so uh, she scored eighteen in the uh, in the loss yesterday, but uh, but no man, it's you know, it, it's gonna be a fun series, man. Uh, we'll see what the Aces can do. You know, I, I said Aja, she might have a chance to catch Cheryl Miller. I'm not Cheryl Miller. Uh, what's her name? Cheryl Swoops and uh, what's the other? Cynthia Cooper. Cooper, yeah. Uh, with the four championships. They got two right now. They're trying to three-peat. We'll see, man. New York is like, nah, we ain't having none of that. And your, your time is up. But uh, keep tuning in, man. These, these young ladies are, are playing some excellent oh, yeah, basketball. Absolutely. And, uh, and keep keep tuning in. The WNBA is coming up, man, and the viewership and the popularity and all that is coming up. So yeah. let's keep it going, man. Keep, I mean, you know, because I'm all for, for everybody getting the bag. Absolutely. Getting that bag, man. Getting Get that, that bag. bag. Let me see. Shady Snort. That, <laughs> Trip say tra- Shady Snort. That, yeah, yo. <laughs> ah, Master Baby got bounced. Oh, yeah, she lost, man. But so did uh, LeBron and Jordan. Well, actually, LeBron didn't make the playoffs his first year. Uh, Jordan lost uh, his first year in the first round. First, what, seven? First few years he lost in the first round. First five or six. Yeah, first man. First five or six years he lost the first round. <laughs> Is we sad, boss? No, nah, we ain't sad, dog. Just looking no, forward to no. next year and, and looking forward to the finish of this season. I'm just glad she brought more attention to the league. Oh, I just absolutely. want I just want people to admit that she brought more attention to the league. That's oh, it. Absolutely. I never said she was the greatest person in the league or the greatest oh, player. I never no, said she's, that. No. She's cold blooded. She's different than anybody else I've seen in that league. You know what I'm saying? She's shooting them long range trays. She led the league in assists as a rookie. Like, what y'all want from the girl? Like, yeah. she's cold. That's all I'm saying. Oh, That's yeah, like me cold. saying Luca Dodgers is cold. Like, yeah. she's cold. Like she yeah. can ball. 
Give yeah. it a props. People oh, watching. Yeah. More people are watching. The best thing I've heard is Caitlin Clark is being compared to Tiger Woods. That's the best comparison that I can give. Tiger Blue Woods brought a whole different demographic to the PGA, right? I started watching golf because Tiger Woods was playing, right? Caitlin Clark is bringing a whole new demographic to the WNBA. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Now, yeah. I will, whether she wins the championships, the Tiger's done. He was number one for a long time, right? But whether she wins those championships is yet to be seen. But the caliber of player that she is can't be questioned, man. And that's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. That's all I'm saying. Her impact on the on the WNBA can't be questioned. You know, That's well, all I'm know, trying to take. I I compare Caitlin Clark more than Larry Bird. I do. Yeah, no, nah, Brianna Stewart is the she cold. Like I said, I'm not saying that she's not. Oh no, I'm just saying Brianna Stewart is a better all around offensive player, defensive player than Caitlin Clark. But when when it comes to just shooting a rock, I ain't seen that before. Oh, oh, yeah. I ain't seen it. I don't care what anybody. You can bring up any name. Ionescu can shoot the rock. She can't shoot it from Caitlin Clark range. Right? That's just like Steph Curry range. Uh, now, the only other one she got is a girl over in Dallas. Now, she shoot like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, she shoot like Enrique? That. Enrique shoot like that. Well, Enrique don't have a range, but she can shoot them threes, though. I mean, what? Well, I'm yeah. talking about them half-court joints. Oh, well, Them yeah. logo yeah. threes. Hey. Kaylin, the only one I see doing that. Oh, yeah. And it's a high percentage chance she's going to hit it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's all I'm saying about Kaylin. And she assists queen. She's got a high basketball IQ. That's all I'm saying. And people talking about her defense, they don't pay her to play defense. All right? Period. Black uh, Tracian, Tiger Woods, do you understand how many championships these black people are so happy she's getting compared to these guys? Bro, I just said, I mentioned that, didn't I? Yeah. Before I read this, I just mentioned that. Except Whether she the wins the championships, that's yet to be seen. But the demographic, bringing them to the game, the impact financially to the business is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Said the entertainer. Had it not been for Tiger Woods, we would have missed out on that joke. Barbecuing out on the course. Yeah. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All wrong in a wave cap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Out on a golf course. Like, we would have missed that joke if Tiger Woods didn't join the league. It's a lot that people that never, I never, I didn't watch, I knew about the, about the WNBA, but I wasn't watching. I wasn't tuning in to watch games, dog. Yeah. I tuned in this year, though. I and mean, that's just what it is. Yeah. And, you know, she, I'm not saying everybody's like me, but I'm telling you how she impacted me to going and watching the games. And I know it's a lot of people like me. Yeah, and, uh, and I'm going to say, for me, I'm not trying to take nothing away from Kayla. All that. For me, I went and started watching the games, not only, and, and I ain't trying to take nothing away from her, but not only because of Kayla Clark. I started watching the NBA also because of Angel Reese. And the WNBA? Yeah, the, I mean the WNBA. Yeah. And this is because this whole thing. Angel, Kayla Clark brought a different different democratic graphic. So did Angel Reese. And I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. Angel Reese bought the fashion. Yes, I'm she did. Fan, no, I love fashion. Absolutely. Okay, I love fashion. So just like uh, some people tune into the NBA game back in the day just to see what the players going to have on. Yep. Alan I want to see, I want to see not only Angel Reese, even the six, eight young lady, they're always coming to the game dressed Fly. different. Fly. Fly. Yeah. Fly. So that had an impact. Absolutely. So I watch, I watch for Caitlin Clark's play. Yeah. And I watch for Angel Reese fashion and play. Yeah. Her so, hustle. Yeah. Her, her, her hustle. Yeah. And to me, I compare Caitlin Clark more to a Larry Bird because in, in yep. when, when Larry Bird and Magic, Came to the league. The league was uh 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 what they uh tape delayed. Uh I was trying to think that that's been so long ago. Yeah. Tape delayed. Yeah. And, and if you saw a game, it was on Sundays. Yeah. And uh maybe you might get one on Saturdays every now and then. With no live action going it. down in the NBA back and in the day when, like it is now. And it's huge. And then now. when Larry Bird and Magic came, they that they start playing games on 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 Friday nights. On Sunday, sometime, yeah, you know they the whole the whole NBA picked up and went from one level to a next level. And Larry Bird, and I'm gonna say the Larry Bird got three MVPs, yeah, and that was because of Larry Bird's popularity. And 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 I'm gonna tell you, Larry Bird got more MVPs than Magic Johnson, but it was Larry Bird's popularity 
and Magic Johnson showmanship. Yeah, no doubt. You know, no doubt. Together, the swag. Yeah, absolutely. Together. And I compare the Kayla perfect Clark blend. more to a now. I don't now just because I compare Kayla Clark to Larry Bird. Yeah, I do not compare Angel Reese to Magic Johnson. No, I don't. No, I don't. Different now, skill she levels. Did, now she did bring some demographics <laughs> to the game too, but not like Magic did. It's like I compare her to her, but I don't compare her to him. I we mean, compare. Angel yeah. to Andre Dr- Drummond. No, I don't prefer Angel to Andre Drummond. No. No, I don't do that. Double and doubles, huh? What you mean? That boy was a 15, 12 Andrew, machine. Andre Drummond ain't won nothing on no level. <laughs> no way. So, not okay, high school, okay, okay. college, <laughs> literally nothing. We so, talking about pro. We talking uh, about pro. We can't We can't bring college in the pro ball. Uh, well, yes, you can. She, uh, she Andre Drummond in the pros. No. Nah. Double yeah. double machine. Andre Drummond ain't brought nobody to the game to watch <laughs> and see how he played. Andre, you got you ain't, see this is this is this well, is more uh, than uh, numbers. She been Simmons this, then. this is impact. She been this, Simmons. No, then. this is impact on the league. So she been she, Simmons. No, she fashion. No, she so she ain't had no more impact on the WNBA. <laughs> da, da, da. We talking about impact. We ain't talking about play. Her impact on the WNBA yeah. is way yeah. more impact. The, the, the Andre Drummond and Ben Simmons quadruple <laughs> together. That's all I'm saying. Her impact, <sighs> her fellowship. I ain't never went and watched no Ben Simmons game. Ben Simmons cold, huh? That's Balenciaga Ben. I, I ain't seen, I yeah, forgot, I, I forgot watching I'm what he played you, like. I ain't, ben Simmons ain't said no records, have you? Always Andre Drummond, but Angel Reese has. Ben Simmons ranked number 14 uh, of all time as far as triple doubles is concerned. I said triple records. That ain't no 14. Ain't a... But Angel Reese <laughs> at least set a record for double doubles in the WNBA. Yeah. I'm saying on her level, she has done more than Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond ain't set no records. He ain't won nothing. He ain't <laughs> did nothing. He double so, doubles. I'm talking about numbers, though. Yeah. yeah double we're double talking machine. about impact. But yeah. even though it's a double double, it wasn't the impact of the double double that Harris was. Angel Reese ain't he, mellow. Angel Reese ain't mellow. Mello was too finesse nah, with nah, them Mello, boys. Mello is way offensive. Yeah, Mello, no. Mello had Mello could Mello. he was instant offense. I'm gonna tell you like was. this. Mello is one of the I'm gonna say it like this. If I want a bucket, I'm gonna get a bottom Mello if I do get to KD. Absolutely. Because Mello can Shoot where KD shoot, or you can go in the block. Melo, Melo is what that is. No, Melo is a bucket. Melo is a bucket way to happen. Yeah, Melo is a bucket way to happen. Absolutely, man. Yeah. So we gotta we gotta cruise pretty quick, man. I gotta go get my yeah. yeah. But uh, moving on. So NBA news yesterday. There was a trade. Let's talk about this trade real quick. Carl Anthony Towns, Julius Randle. Randall's a Dallas boy, you know. Shout out Dallas Presby, uh, Dallas, what was it? Dallas Parish Episcopal. Yeah. Or no, 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 he didn't go to Parish. He went to the Blue and Yellow School, Preston Wood. Yeah, Shout Preston out Preston Wood. Wood. Yeah. Yeah, Julius Randall, man, Dallas boy. He got traded for uh, Carl Anthony Towns. What you think about that trade? Who won in that one? It was about even. I think, I, I think, uh, Minnesota won. I think so too. If Josh Randall healthy, Carl Anthony Towns is too flaky to me. That's a big man that shoots threes. Yeah, and then not only that, he's not solid. He he'll give up mentally. I'm, I'm just saying to me. Yeah. This is just my opinion. This ain't no fair. I would rather have a now if Julius now Julius Randle, Randle on the problem, he do get hurt every now and then. Yeah, yeah. Now, hey, Alejandro, and, I agree with you, bro. She is a generational player. Who was that? Uh, Kaylin Clark. Oh yeah, Kaylin Clark. Generation. No hands down, no yeah, doubt about yeah, that. Don't, don't, don't no doubt. About that. I'm, yeah. I'm listening to you. Though. Yeah, you but, know, but for Julius for me. Randle, if Julius Randle is healthy, he's a, you know, he he a twenty and ten guy. He mismatch. Yeah, he's too quick for a big man and it's, it's, too it's, big it's, for a small man. man. Yeah, he mismatch. Yeah, yeah. yeah so Anthony yeah, just gonna shoot threes and I don't know. yeah, you, you he's not gonna he he's not. I done gave Carl Anthony all the passes. He's not Carl Anthony ain't type A. Yeah, he, yeah, 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 yeah. He's not I, type I A. I done gave Carl Anthony all the passes. I'm gonna give him. I gave him passes. Doing COVID because of his family situation. Yeah, for back, I'm too game. They, they got they got Julius Randle and they also got uh, Devincenzo. Uh, Devin yeah. So I, I think I think I think Minnesota, I think Minnesota won. won that trade. I do too. I think Minnesota won that trade, no doubt. But uh, also, Bronny and Bron had their first uh, media day and interview, or I'm sorry, and practice yesterday. Yeah. Bronny can shoot that rock now. Man, I already know Bronny can, man. Bronny can shoot that rock now. Now man, I don't know. Man, people can sleep on Bronny all they want to, but I'm gonna tell you like that. Playing with his daddy, 
He gonna flourish because LeBron got the highest IQ. LeBron he's gonna make sure. He do, man. He's gonna Brian, make sure he says. When they call timeout, Brian, you do this, you do that. Yeah. You do this, you do that. Yeah. You know? And then not only doing timeout at home. Yeah, at the house, man. Watching Fenton. Like, Brian is gonna excel. He's gonna be just fine. I'm gonna tell you like this to me, to me. <laughs> LeBron got one of the highest basketball IQs. In the history of basketball, oh, IQ. Yeah, you can't I, question. I that. mean, because you know, back in the day, you know, we got to go with this stuff. Because back in the day, uh, IQ wasn't even in, 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 uh, incorporated into it. Yeah. But <laughs> since they've been calling IQ, LeBron probably got the highest man. And so, it, and if he can transfer into that into Bronny, and Bronny just do what he say do and play how he say play, why he there, he'll be good. If he can. Yeah. Brian had been around him his whole life. I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's in there. And then, and then Ain't no doubt know. about that. And then, and then Bronny is, is a grown man. Bronny, so his IQ so high, he's been such a facilitator, people think he can't score. Exactly. But when he shoots the rock, he went 25 for 29 in the NBA combine. Yeah. I can't do that. I'll tell you that right yeah, now. Hey. With a 40-inch hey. vertical. I can't hey. do that either. Hey. They, they they say, say his daddy, daddy can't score. score. He's an yeah. all-time yeah. league scorer. You know what I'm saying? He's the NBA. Bronny, so, Bronny gonna be fine. LeBron man. ain't never. See, this is the whole thing that I tell people all the time. Y'all say LeBron is not a scorer, but he did all-time league score. Man, just imagine if he could score. That boy scored on somebody, on somebody, on somebody. And this is the this is the whole thing, man. By the time LeBron retire, he gonna be top five in about four or five categories. Yeah. Yeah, LeBron is that dude, he gonna man. He's going to be top five in assists, steal, scoring. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we got to keep this thing rolling, though, man. So we on to the, the last segment, man. Right, we, we're we're going to talk about Mike Tyson and Jake Paul next week. We got time. Oh, man, we going to talk about them next week? We got, we got that time. That was my opinion, man. Are we, I mean, it's your opinion right okay. now. You still got okay. IMO, huh? Oh, okay, IMO, man. So I M O and I M O is in my opinion. This is the part of the show where if you no, if you're new to the show, go hit that subscribe button first of all. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button. I like the stuff. Share. In my opinion, this is what we can't rebut right here. So what's your in opinion? In my opinion, on? Mike Tyson and Jake Paul are just holding the fan hostage. They <laughs> they ain't gonna do squat when the day come for them to fight. They may even cancel again. All they doing is. Holding the hands hostage, hostage, and both of them is getting more IG followers, more Instagram followers, more Facebook followers, more YouTube followers. In the meantime, they making more money. I don't even believe it's going to happen. Yeah. I don't trust Mike uh, Tyson or Jake Paul. I think they're just holding the fans hostage to make more money in the meantime. I don't want to hear about Jake Paul. I'm Mike Tyson until they fight. Yeah. I am done. I'm so sick of it well, because they talking, talking. They have I, I think, I think, uh, you know, I'm just saying to me, I want them to fight <laughs> because I don't trust either one of them Yeah, because they both trying to make money. Yeah. That's what I believe. Absolutely. They're trying to make money. They may not never fight. Man. And that's just my opinion. I'm wow. Off of, of the publicity of it. Yeah. They, they just all for the publicity. And get, because, because right, right now, now, both of them is getting more followers on every platform they own. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. And the more followers you get, the more money you make. Absolutely. So there we go. Absolutely. I don't think that. Some, I'm, not like even that. Sure, I'm not even sure they're ever going to fight. I just think they're going to keep on. I mean, I, I'm not sure. If yeah. they do, so be it. But I, I don't trust either one of them right now. Yeah. I'm so done with it. And that's just my opinion. Yeah, no, nah, I mean that's that's a great opinion, you know. And I haven't thought about that, but it's very possible. Yeah, you know, uh, we call it blue balls. Yeah, right, giving everybody blue balls, women too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> dry humped. You keep getting dry humped, man. Yeah, no big you know blue what I'm ball. <laughs> All that good stuff, man. Yeah. So, in my opinion, y'all need to go on ahead and uh, pay these port workers, man. Because I'm telling oh. you what, I ain't trying to be without toilet paper. I ain't trying to be without rice, paper towels. I ain't trying to be without nothing, dog. Q-tips, you know, bananas. I'm not trying to be without nothing, man. Y'all want to pay these port workers what they need, bro. Quit playing. What we playing for? 
to be playing like we always. Y- y'all trying play. to cause a ruckus? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. man, go on to play these dudes, bro. Hey, y'all know y'all been cheating them anyway. This is America. This is what y'all do here in America from the top. Y'all take all the bread and then write contracts for pennies on a dollar. You know? For decimals of a penny on a dollar to the people working for you, man. Come up off some of that bread now. Quit playing, man. We're playing, man. Triple A pay. I don't know what they're making, but go on triple it because you can. It ain't going to hurt you. Say, man. I, I thought, thought they were making money. They're making $18, $20 out. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and they want a 70% raise. And at first, I was saying, 70%, y'all tripping. $18 an hour. Young 50 hour, man. Hey, this is crucial to the economics in America, man. So if you don't work, you don't eat, you don't grind, you don't shine. Hey, you can work and not say. eat if them pork workers. Guess, guess what they said they're, they're going to do? On strike. When they're on strike, they're going to lose $5 billion per day. I'm telling you, man. I, I bet, bet you ain't gonna pay them workers five billion dollars a day. Hey, they say they say one day of poor yeah. workers on strike takes seven, five, seven days. Take, takes three to four days to recover from. Oh, they say seven. Seven is what it is. They say every one day they miss, they seven days behind. Man, hey, and they already missed today, and yeah, they walked off yesterday. That's this two is weeks. seven days. That's two, That's two weeks. weeks behind. So, so you run out of toilet paper, you make sure you got two weeks left. Oatmeal, peaches. I ain't trying to run out of Nathan, man. No. You don't want to pay these poor workers. And that's my opinion, man. Hey. Whatever they want is is well-deserved, man. I'm They've 100% been with J.A. right there. Keeping this Praise American people, public man. happy and full around yeah, here. You know, absolutely. We ain't get to be the most obese country in the world for no reason. Them poor workers been going hard for the minimum. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's like Michael Parson playing, his rookie, uh, playing on a rookie contract his whole career. Who wants to do that? Nobody. Nobody, dog. When you make pay an impact, people, man. when you make an impact on society, pay them get, people. Get paid for it, man. Now you know, UPS. Them boys make a hundred thousand. The poor workers need to be making more, man. They get, they got, you know, UPS carrying small boxes to your door. These poor workers carrying everything, everything off the boat, dog. Original. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But with that being said. That is our last subject of the day, man. Again, if you haven't been a part of the Nunes community, I hope you join today, man. Go ahead. We got memberships. Join as a member. Trip, appreciate you every time, big dog. You the G, bro. You the one that hold us down, man. Let us know when things ain't right, how they should be. You the ghost, man. You yeah, the you ghost. the ghost, dog. Hey, trip to ghost. Hey, you know, Frank Martin been on the show, too, so y'all, y'all gonna have to fight that out. I don't know if hey, you want to fight hey, Frank, though. Hey, hey I... I had a homework. We call her ghost. <laughs> the ghost was cold. Yeah. That's why they call her ghost because now you're here and now you're gone. Yeah, <laughs> man. Hey, can't see him. Yeah. Hey, can't see him. When you see him, you see him. Yeah. No, you don't even see him when he leave. He's just gone. Out of there, dog. Straight yeah. out of there. But no, definitely appreciate y'all watching and tuning in today if it's your first time. We'll be back next week. Be tuning in this weekend. We probably will have some watch party for a football game or something going on. I believe the Cowboys are out of town this weekend, so be checking in Sunday for sure. We'll have a watch party. You know yeah, what I'm absolutely. saying? So, uh, again, appreciate you tuning in, man. How about them fighting eyes one more time with that big win against Oh, Brazil? my God. Let's go! Them gold hats, baby. Let's get it. Hey, we'll see y'all next week sometime around noon. We'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Peace.